players are wandering out into the middle. Uh, certainly could be a fascinating final session, this isn't it? Uh, England uh, are comfortably in the lead, but not quite as comfortably as they'd want. They'd want some more runs, of course, but uh, they've got uh, Wokes playing well, but Pope playing really beautifully. And we've seen a lot of his strokes so far. We'll see some more. There's 10 overs to go to the new ball. And I think the Indians would want to get their hands on that. This one's gone a bit soft and uh, not very easy to, to, to break through. On the other hand, if Pope's still going strongly, I think he'll like that harder ball on the bat. He's 74 not out from 143 deliveries. Isha's plugging herself in. And uh, she's going to start up uh, commentary. And then I think Michael Vaughan's coming in here. Isha. Thanks, Agus. I tell you what. I've just been outside and uh, this is the best place to be in London, I reckon, today. Afternoon here on a Friday, just after tea, sun is out. People have flocked back to their seats to watch the action. We've seen 17 wickets fall in the space of two days here at the Oval, which is quite extraordinary. But uh, yes, those clouds have kind of dissipated. We've got a lot more blue sky above. Gentle breeze in the air. And it's got a really nice afternoon summer's feel to it. Michael Vaughan. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. England lead by 36. Jasper Brumrett has got the ball back in his hand once again. He's the go-to bowler for Virat Kohli. He needs to do it once again. Here he comes to Pope. He's got two slips in position as he just pulls out of his run out. Don't see that often from Jasper Brumro. But two slips. There's a, a third man, quite square. Point extra, mid off, mid on, mid wicket, and fine leg for India's premier quick as Pope taps his bat down. Bumbra, past the stumps. Pope delicately plays the ball back down the pitch sort of bangs the ball into the surface as he hits it straight there's a lot of movement out there Michael I just went to the far side of the ground mm. popped into a hospitality box Phil Tufnell was there entertaining oh I bet he's uh, I bet he he's was just about to start he's on form is he <laughs> a couple of stories sorry I mentioned the jungle <laughs> strictly as Bumra bowls on the stumps Pope tucks it away to mid-wicket comes through for a single hits it quite square moving around to his right mid-wicket there to take the ball and Pope moves to 75 228 for 7 uh, I think you're right actually so I think this is the best place in London to be on a Friday afternoon sun shining beating down watching a close test match you you kind of sherbets in the stand Now, I wonder what lengths are going to bowl to Chris Wokes. Short leg's been placed uh, a few yards away from Wokes. Just has Jasper Bummer got enough left in the tank? Well, so many overs throughout the series. Two slips in the gully as well. Wokes sets himself up. Bummer on the approach. Bowls back of a length. Guys it past second slip down to the third man fence. Gets there quickly. It's picked up for Wokes moves to 8, 232 for 7. A lead of 41. Well, that was uh, banged in. Not quite head high, sort of shoulder high, and outside the off stump, and he's played that well. Well, the problem with this tactic at this time is that the ball's 71 overs old, so it'll be soft. So those short balls genuinely will be coming off the surface quite slowly. He's such a good bowl, full of length, Jasper Bummer, to anyone. I think I'd be kind of probing away and around that fourth stump line, bringing the batter forward. Bummer moves in, Wokes guys again, back with a point, past uh, Gully. Again, it finds the third man boundary, and more cheers from the crowd as they applaud that four from Wokes. He moves to 12, 236 for seven, a lead of 45. We've been watching Verrett Coley closely today, and... He is a man of all expressions. You generally know what's happening in the game when you watch Virat Kohli, and <laughs> there was a real furious face. No, but on again, screen. it's he's setting the field, and, mm. and to Chris Wokes, who stays leg side and likes to hit through the offside. You've got a mid wicket, a mid on. You've got a short leg. You've got four fielders on the onside. 
with a vacant space down in that third. They've now put a fielder on the boundary. Yeah, it stuck someone on an out at deep backward point as Boomer is in again. Wokes driving this time and mm. Boomer aggression takes the ball high in the air, hang time and throws it back at the stumps. Misses it by a good few inches as it heads <laughs> towards Richard Bant. There's a bit of fire about Jasprit Boomer. Probably the nicest fast bowler there is going round in world cricket. Yeah, One you, of. You wouldn't be too worried if Jasprit no. came chirping. You'd just <laughs> smile. He'd end up smiling back. A bit like Dale Stain, I reckon. Well, he was quite fiery on the pitch, mm. but really nice off it. Mm. As Wokes edges this time, past second slip down to the third man boundary. Again, it's getting peppered. Nothing more frustrating for a fast bowler as Wokes fetches another four. And uh, England moves to 240 for seven at the end of the over. Lead of 49. Wokes is uh, raced to 16. Well, I reckon that's the easiest 12 runs with the way that Wokes plays. That he'll get in test match cricket. With that massive vacant space. They've got third down on the boundary. He's so wide. And that's exactly... Go back to that innings he played at Old Trafford against Pakistan. Mm. Gave himself a bit of space on the onside and opened up that offside. Yeah, he played some lovely cover drives at that, that innings with Joss Butler. So Jadeja to continue after T from the Vauxhall Road end. Just assigning his field at the moment. Slip, short leg. Backward point, deep cover, extra mid off, mid on, mid wicket, and uh, a long leg. Andy, is it right that the last time India got 400 in Test cricket and beyond was December 2019? Yes. So their bowlers have got them out of trouble. That's a lot of. Uh, how many Quite Test matches is that? Seems to be a, a long time that an Indian batting line wouldn't have gone past 400, which, again, you're looking at this situation, they're going to need a. A big score in the second innings. I think the pitch is playing in a fashion now that you'd fancy getting a big score. It's not doing a great deal, is it? Jadeja just shifted one over from the offside as Pope is forward and defending outside the leg stump. Bowling over the wicket, the left-hander. Jadeja just moved point over to short fine. So there's a big gap through the offside as... Pope advances, whips the ball to a wide mid-on who dives to stop the ball from going for four as he comes through for one. He's looking confident there at the moment. Pope moves to 76, lead of 50 now for England. So 15 tests, including this one, since India last made 428 team innings in that. They've been bowled out for under 209 occasions and under 250 14 times. Previously, over the previous five years, in 89 innings, they'd have 26 400-plus scores. Wokes forward press and defends casually down the pitch. Just out of interest, how many 400-plus scores of England put in in 15 test matches? Won't be many. As that's uh, driven to mid-off. Maybe any test team <laughs> in the last 15 test matches. As <laughs> <laughs> Wokes is back in his crease looking to cut, misses the ball through to Rishabh Pant. Well, it's something that once uh, Chris Silverwood came on board, it was something that they talked about. For big first innings runs and, and big scores going past 400 as Wokes is forward and, and covering the ball to the offside at the end of the over, 241 for seven, lead of 50, Wokes 16, Pope 76. But England's last 15 tests go back to the start of the Pakistan series. Last summer they've had four 400 plus totals in that time. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, England have played way more test matches than anyone in world cricket. New Zealand, on the other hand, who were the World Test Championship holders, barely played any test matches. Mm. They're back here next year, aren't they, New Zealand? Mm. In South Africa. Look forward to that. I just think New Zealand need more tests. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'd love to they see do. them in a four-match, five-match series. Square leg's gone out to the boundary. Boomer in. Pope tucking the ball to mid-wicket. Off the front foot, no run. 
Yeah, they do. I think they need more tests against Australia. I mean, it's only over the road. Over. It's only a canoe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But they, they've barely played any test matches against each other. and I, You would think in, in these times as well, during the pandemic, they could form a, a bit of a bubble together. There's Bumrush off his forwards from the pavilion end into that characteristic stutter. Pope forwards and guiding the ball past extra cover out to deep cover. There's a, a backward point who's rushing around to his right to take the ball, collect it and throw it in as Pope comes back for two, moves to 78, 243 for seven, lead of 52. Got any plans tonight, Michael? Uh, no, no, not a great deal. I'll uh, stroll back. Beautiful night for a stroll back to the hotel. I know Sister Ebony Rainford Brent turned up today with her Brompton bike. Yes. Even though she lives five minutes away. Yeah. There's Jasper Brummer. Rushes towards us now. Pope guides the ball out to that deep backward point. A wide third man. And again collects another two as he shuffles back for the second run 245 for 7 yeah, England it, lead it, 54 it's interesting isn't it? the, the individual's choice of travel and the hotel is everybody actually lives co closer than the hotel is yeah. Yeah, most of us walk she comes on a bike and Ramps gets the bus yeah he does Yeah, gets the nice London red bus I saw him getting on this morning I thought I, I saw him getting on with a bus pass <laughs> <laughs> so it, was just his, it was his credit what, card. the pensioners, he, bus yeah. passes. I saw him with a red like, card in his hand. I thought, well, no. Bummer passed the stumps to Pope, who's forward and driving the ball. But it's two points. And it was just this little tap it, you know, his little card to, to pay to get on. Gets the bus to go and have a, a brew. Well, you can do it with your, your credit card or your, That's what your did, debit yeah. card, yeah. Exactly. Can you not do that in Manchester? Uh, not been on a bus for a while, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I usually get the bus to Lords. Yeah. Yeah. There's Bumrut, bowls on the stumps, Pope works it to mid wicket, no run. Uh, how much is it? A book? So, so when I used to go to school in Sheffield, from the village I used to live in, Door Village to Ecclesall, my school was in Ecclesall, I, I used to pay 2p. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to give me no one he used to give me it's one pound and four p every no day way. So I had a quid, a quid for my lunch ride. I used to get a quid for a lunch for my lunch and four p to get there and back to school that's less for a sweet <laughs> <laughs> Bummer bowls back of a length inside edge onto the pad as he looks to drive but it finds its way to point no run under the over, 245 for seven. 73 overs have been bowled, leader 54, woke 16, Pope on 80. I, I likened that Mo and Ali shot to me going about my day nicely without reaching for the sweets. It would have been uh, delivered every day by our production assistant and production manager, George and Owen. As, uh, that was a no ball, so one more ball left from Jasper Brummer in this over and then I can't help myself mm. and I have to reach for that Twix mm. as Brummer past the umpire to Pope who's dabbing at the ball in front of him plays it to mid off no run I think it was wasn't just reaching for the Twix that Mo in LA no it wasn't shoved it. the whole multi-pack in it <laughs> yeah. one go yeah. not even unwrapping it yeah he, he went for the full pick and mix there didn't he you don't know how much I'm trying to avoid having sweets and chocolate yeah. on one day of a cricket day yeah my bus journey for Scott, so it was the number 50 bus 2p each, each way and then it, it, it dramatically went up to 5p well so I used to get £1.10 a day you wouldn't believe the prices now in London £1.80 what for it? but that was two years ago so who knows what it is now I used to be able to get my lunch for a quid. School. What sandwich. kind of lunch was it? Sausage roll sandwich, packet crisp. Very healthy. Yeah. Well, I used to go into the quick, you know, the tuck shop. Jadeja around the wicket to Wokes, who delicately plays it back down the pitch. Rush in to get my sandwich or sausage roll so I could get in the playground and have a game of football or cricket. Did you ever play Bulldog? As Wokes guides the ball to extra cover, no run. Yeah. Yeah, played. You, you can't think of a bulldog. That was quick. I was agile. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Can't 
get taken get, out early. I did get taken out a few times, I did. Especially in a mixed school. <laughs> Wokes pushes forwards, guides the ball to mid on. Pushes forwards and uh, is sent back by Pope. Can he get a single there? I saw my, uh, my niece. Rich's knees down in, in Cornwall. She was playing All Stars cricket as Jaleja bowls to Wokes, who guides it to short leg. But silly point in fact, no run. <laughs> there's, a, there's a gentleman down here in the stand, an Indian fan, who's got a big cake. Looks like Mohammed Shami's just had a picture with him with his cake. It's obviously his birthday. He's, he's got his, his arms in the air with the cake in his right hand. He's very brave. He's, he's carrying the cake with one hand up the stair. I hope he doesn't trip. He's rather ball defended by Chris Wokes as that silly point has moved across the short leg. <laughs> as Wokes, this time, finds the gap, reaching for one outside the off stump. Guys, it's just in front of point where that fielder has just moved across and comes through for one 248 for seven lead of 57 more left in this over so Rich's uh, niece playing in the All-Stars she's uh, just quite young and one of the, the games is you have to go and rush for the ball as soon as it's hit out into the outfield as Jadeja is over the wicket to Pope, who's nearly falling over, lunging forwards to cover the ball. Under the over, Pope 80, Woke 17, 248 for seven. Lead of 57, as uh, we'll go back to your cake. Oh, well, that's about Mohammed Shami, what he did. Uh, he, he's cut the cake for them. So they've gone down to the front where Mohammed Shami, with his day glow, he's walking around with drinks for the players. And it's a big, uh, it looks like a, a chocolate, yeah, it's a big chocolate cake. And then Mohammed Shami, uh, he's cut it up. Very nice. I'd have well, nicked a bit, wouldn't you? He didn't have any. What they usually do, you'll see it in the Indian Premier League. Whenever it's someone's birthday, they they use like part of the, the ritual is to shove the cake in someone's face when it's yeah. their birthday. I, I just don't get that. <laughs> don't quite understand that. <laughs> what a waste. waste. Yeah. Shard of the court, returning from the pavilion end in place of uh, Jasprit Bumrah. Wokes uh, will continue. We'll have a slip in a third slip in position. There is that deep backward point still there and uh, an orthodox point, but slightly uh, more forwards. Probably about 20 metres away from Wokes there. As Tako is in, bowls wide of the off stump, allows it to go past. But yeah, so back to Daisy. <laughs> Rich's niece and she's probably what five years old and she's hanging out with these young boys who are seven or eight and that they have to rush to the ball collect the ball run back to a certain position and and throw down the stumps and she's being barged out of the way but she's she always comes back yeah she's always trying she's to fight her yeah she is last ball was a no ball another one from uh, India as Thakur is past the stumps to Wokes again very wide of the off stump Let's it go. It's an interesting one with Shardoff Thakur so far in the test match because he, he changed the game for India with that 50 of 31 balls, but he has looked innocuous with the ball. 12.1 overs, 0 for 40. He bowled well at Trent Bridge. And like just had a little bit of bit of skill on that wicket at uh, Trent Bridge, but so far here at the Oval, he's just looked, he's looked a, a gallop shy. Parkour at the crease. Again, wider the off stump. That looks tired. He looks like a fatigued bowler at the moment. 79 miles an hour, that one. But he shouldn't be fatigued. He's not played. Mm. He, should be, he, he should be the one going to the camp and saying, Look, I'll do the donkey work for you today because, you know, Jasper's bowled so much in the series. Siraj has bowled so much. Let me hold an M for you. He's just not been consistent enough. Is this your call to get Ashwin back in? Well, I don't think it's just my call. I think it's pretty much every single. As again, that channel, but 
very wide. It's an, an, another set of stumps that he's bowling at outside the off stump. I would say every single person that watches cricket and studies the game, I would say across the world, yeah. would have Ashwin playing in this test match. Yeah. The only two that are not thinking that Ashwin should be in the Indian side are the two most important people, Ravi Shastri and Virat Kohli, mm. <laughs> for India. Mm. I mean, it is... There's Thakur is in to ropes again. Why do the off stump? So very defensive here at the moment, India. Well, we, I chatted to him on uh, day one and he said, well, it's very hard to, to bowl both spinners, especially if we're bowling first in the innings. But surely you know the oval, you know that it is a place that while it did have a green tinge to it on day one, it, it is generally quite dry. As Takor comes wide of the crease, slightly tighter, has a think about it, Chris Wokes, but then leaves it through to the keeper. Yeah, but I think where India have got a bit confused, and, they, and, it, and it confused them in the Test Championship final where they went for two spins yeah. and three seamers. But and Ashwin was effective. Correct. And, and they didn't lose that game because of the bowling. They lost the game because the batting was poor. So they've kind of tried to go with this combination because, you know, they lost that game and they, they feel that this is the best option. You know, if, if we're honest, they should be 2-1 up in the series so far. The Trent Bridge game, they, they would have won that game on the last day, in my opinion. Yet they still could have been better. Tako again, nearly off the cut strip. That final ball of the over. Lead of 58 249 for seven England, Woke 17, Pope 80. And a man that will be pleased with where Pope is at the moment is going to come in now. A few words from you, Michael, and then Dan Norcross. Yeah, I don't think that's the key. That we talk about non-selection selections, but in terms of Ashwin, he, he, he's so good in all conditions. Uh, even if it is a, a bit of a green top on day one, you'd still back him to get a couple of wickets because he's that good he's got so many different variations he's got the obviously the, the off spin he's got that one that goes straight on he's got the arm ball he's got the doostra he's got the leg spinner I've seen him every morning practicing maybe he's getting used uh, ready for the IPL but uh, we're in for a good game I know that 58's the lead good evening Dan good evening Jadeja is over the wickets to Pope and the drives reaching for this ball round about off stump pushes it to short extra cover where Coley is stationed there's no run Wokes has 80 at uh, Wokes Pope has 80 which is very important more in a moment as Pope gets a thick outside edge and leading edge as he looked to turn the ball into the onside and it's squirted just in front of a diving first slip look how deep he is there is he knee deep isn't he deep I mean Jadeja does bowl it in around about 60 but a little bit of turn there perhaps out of there isn't much in the way of footmarks that you can see but there will be some scuffage out there here is Jadeja again over the wicket pulled away by Pope out to deep backward square for a single it's a single and he moves to within one run of what if you were to get it would take him to the highest average by any human being on any ground who's played 18 innings or more but the crowd are clapping not that as you can imagine they're clapping England's 250 which came up with that single the lead now 59 Pope has 81 what do you make of this line of attack here yeah, I think it's a good one because you know we saw from the previous delivery that's the first ball that's really spun you know, in the first innings a left arm orthodox spinning you've got to try and change angles or give yourself a chance he's in again and that's padded away by a Wokes Jadeja asks a question but receives no positive response the Jowls made a career out of it, just yeah. trying to bowl into the footholes and trying to bowl dots, trying to bowl for the captain so you can rotate from the other end. Forward short leg is in and Wokes defends, bat in front of Pad, pushes the ball down the wicket to Jadeja and there's no run. Well, what they're doing in India, they're creeping towards that second new ball, the 4.1 overs away from it. Wokes just defends, very full delivery, back to Jadeja, end of his over. England 250 for seven, the lead 59, Pope 81, Wokes 17. 
How many overs has Jadeja bowled now, please, Andy? 15, one for 33. So more than Takur and Siraj. Yadav and Bumra are bowled 17 and 19 each, and they were talking about them, well, Bumra especially, having had quite a heavy workload. Siraj has not bowled that many, has he? 12 overs, one for 42. Bumra started after T and then was whipped out of the attack to be replaced by Takur. It's been a bit disappointing with the ball in this match. 13 overs, none for 50. There are two slips in and they're very widely spaced. Actually, Rohit's just moved a little bit to his left now. But they're still pretty widely spaced and there's a sort of very square gully as Takur is into Pope. Pope, oh, it's chopped on! Wide outside the off stump, he looked to dab it down to third man and he's chopped it back onto his stumps. England lose their eighth wicket, Pope has to go for 81. It's been a super knock from the young Surrey man, but it's just brought India back into it again. Every time England look as if they're going to take the game away from India, they lose a wicket and it's a fortuitous one really for India. Pope just looking to dab of wide ball down to the deep backward point boundary. And instead, it came off the under edge and cannoned back onto the stumps. The lead 59, England 250 for eight. Well, he'll get a great ovation, and absolutely he should. It's been a really high class innings. What a bit of unfortune as a, as a player when the ball ricochets back onto the stumps. He had one earlier off Jasper Bummer that just missed the off stump. And on this occasion, it, uh, it went onto middle stump. It's not a great delivery from Thakur. Every now and again, I reckon a bowler thinks, oh, I didn't deserve one with that. But India will take it. A really nice innings, though. It's, uh, I've seen him play some nice knocks for England, particularly that, that 100 in South Africa. But that is the, the first time I've really watched him and thought, there's a bit of sheer class in that. There's a real classy player in Ollie Pope that he's just got to stay fit, got to keep playing the way that he's played in this innings in terms of the technical side. You know, whatever he's kind of felt today, go and write it down. Go and get a little black book and write down his thoughts, his kind of mindset, and just kind of repeat that on a regular basis because uh, he looked a high-class test match player today. Well, he came in with England in all sorts of bother when they lost Overton early this morning and then straight after Milan was out and England was 69 for five, 62 for five, I beg your pardon. Mm. And uh, Bumrah and Umesh Shadab were bowling fantastically and he just sort of blunted that and then the moment the if you like the second string bowlers came on he went after them he'll be really annoyed with the way he got out though perhaps you know slightly softer ball not coming on as much he's furious with himself banged his bat against his pad but um, that's the way that's the way the cookie crumbles yeah, it's, it's a bit of a nothing nothing shot in the end wasn't it, it was like a, yeah, yeah which, was what, which was odd because he'd been very sort of determined in his movements before that sorry Andy uh, 81 from 159 balls with six fours uh, his seventh 50 plus score in tests having gone eight matches without reaching 50 before this one right new batter ollie robinson takur is into him and he works his first ball square of the wicket in the onside they go oh, they'll get through for one they should get a second because a really poor piece of fielding is that is that axa patel on the it's axa patel yes <laughs> it's a sub fielder axa patel and Kohli gives a, a look of disgust <laughs> the lead goes to 61 so now, we know Robinson can bat because we've seen him bat, batted well on debut, but if Wokes wants to get any runs before the second new ball comes, is he going to have a little dart here if he gets on strike, do you think? Would make sense, wouldn't it, for him to sort of have a go at this? Here is Takua into Robinson, who pulls. Well, he's having a go, and he's not timed it perfectly, but he's going to get at least two as it runs out towards deep backward square leg. They're settling just for the two, the ambling two and Robinson to four England 254 for eight to see, 863 see Dan the, the 191 that India got in the conditions that they batted I reckon was 60 light of, of probably par in terms of the conditions that they batted in mm -hmm. I reckon this 254 54 for eight is a long way short of par from the conditions that England have had to bat in you I don't think, think he's done th anything much today you think 350 400 oh, yep it's looked glorious there comes Dakar into Robinson pushes up to mid off there's no run well when when Root doesn't score that's the problem England have got isn't it we've seen especially this year we've talked a lot about who's got runs for England this year and it's been Root yeah and I just I said it yesterday that whoever 
gets one of their individual players to 100. So if India in the second innings gets one of those top five players to get 100, England are going to be chasing quite a few runs. Well, they could easily be chasing 300 plus, couldn't they? The lead is only 63 at the moment. As Takua runs into Robinson, back raised. Robinson, oh, that goes for a wild yard. Who at this? Opens up and tries to smash it. Does he realise he's got Chris Wokes at the other end? He hits it pretty firmly, but back to the bowler. And there's no run. There's only one ball left in the over yeah, as well after this. Maybe they're thinking 3.1 over to go to that second new ball. But Well, don't you wait for Wokes on strike and say, yes, you go for it? Funny things happen in this area of the game. But he's only just walked out to the wicket, you know? I mean, if a if a top a top order batter needs a bit of time to get his eye in, then what does Ollie Robinson need coming in at ten? Right, there's a deep backward, well, not deep backward. There's a deep forward square leg gone out. There's a long leg. There's acres of space. There's a single to be given on the leg side. Should Robinson want it? Takur is in. Robinson pushes off the back foot. He wants the single. Throw comes in, and uh, well, they could have got an overthrow had Wokes not overshot at the non-striker's end they just pick up the single 255 for 8 it means Robinson curiously has taken strike he has 5 Wokes has 17 Andy uh, with that dismissal Ollie Pope's average in first class cricket at the Oval has dipped back below 100 oh, however misery me. he was very briefly uh, I believe I've slightly miscalculated before T very briefly he held the highest average for someone with 18 or more innings. Well, it's some first class crowd. It's, well, when I see him, I'll, I'll, I'll let him know exactly that. And that should be that should be more than enough consolation for getting out to a very disappointing little half wafty dab. Um, since uh, England was 62 for five, they've uh, now scored 193 in 52 and a half overs for the loss of three wickets. Mm. I mean, that's what one thing I was going. I mean, it's not take issue with you, with uh, Michael, but I suppose England batted yesterday enough overs when it was a bit testing. And for example, the ball that did for Root was a was a beauty, wasn't it? Really, Jadeja is in, bowled him. Horrible swipe from Robinson. A dreadful shot with Wokes at the other end. He's gone for a massive wallop across the line with Jadeja coming over the wicket, and he's just thrown his wicket away. Only Anderson now left, and England are on the brink here at 255 for nine in their first inning. So Joe Root got a beauty. Joe Root did Johnny get a beauty. Johnny Bairstow got a half decent one, yeah. looking back. I yeah, suppose Hasib Ami got a but he, I mean, he shouldn't have Hasib been Hasib that was a poor shot. A poor shot, yeah. You, you name me another good delivery that's been in the innings. Moeen Ali's swung one in Horrible, the air. That's yeah. just been an horrendous stroke. Horrendous stroke, yes. OK, yeah. Another couple of drag-ons onto the stumps. That's a bit unfortunate. Milan, decent ball, just held yeah, up a decent, little bit. Decent, decent ball. Yeah, decent ball, but you know, not unplayable. You know, I, I, I haven't seen enough movement today. You know, it's not been swinging all over the place and... England have been bowled out for what looks like under 300 and under 300 by 45 at the minute well it will be won't it 255 for 9 the lead 64 Anderson is coming out to bat and um, I imagine Jasper Bumrah will very shortly be coming on to bowl as Michael Bourne departs well he might be of course Anderson's re receiving a rapturous ovation from this oval crowd Part of it tinged with uncertainty every time Anderson comes out to bat. I'm always sort of wondering, is this going to be the last time he's going to bat here or not? There's no hint that he's going to retire, but if he plays again at the Oval, he'll be 40 years old. He's got no intention of retiring, has he? He's got none at all, no. I think he's got... He'll be 40 maybe. next time. I can see him wanting to play test till he's... What's the 45, state 50? retirement age? He's gone up to 67, is it? Yeah. Hello, Ebony. Hello. You're back. Well, you're calling the end of... <laughs> no, I'm not. The end no. of someone I think no, is no, going to be back until he's... Well, I'm just saying that the Oval four crowd... five at least. Just occasionally, you know, part of it is fondness and appreciation for Jimmy Anderson, but there's always a sort of, oh, but will he be doing it again next year? Will he be walking out of bat when he's 40? We'll see. We'll see. Age is nothing but a number. That is very true, Ebony. <laughs> And that shot from Ollie Robinson was nothing but horrendous. It, it was Chris great. Wokes at the other end. He's just walked out to bat and he's just flung himself at every single ball. Chadeja into Anderson, who defends. Back on the wicket. There's no run. How long before we see the reverse sweep? He plays a reverse sweep almost as often as he plays a forward defensive shot. There is a leg slip and a slip. There's a short third. 
cover made off. Anderson comes forward, pushes into space, he gets the run. This is the crowd when he gets when he gets off the mark like that. Now Wokes, I think, does have license and has to go now. 256 for nine, the lead 65. But Ollie Robinson can bat. And I, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what he was doing in the previous over when he was trying to launch every yeah. shot off Tucker. And then what was he doing taking the strike off Chris Wokes, who was a proper batter with a test match century? It was bafflingly moronic cricket. I would add to it, but you, you, you've got stuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a bit. It's vexed me. Yeah, it was, it was clear, wasn't it? You could see the whole sort of front foot yeah. was clearing to the leg side and he was just trying to... And I get the old ball business, and I, I get there's a new ball around the corner. He wanted to do a fukur, you know, maybe could he be a, a lower order Well, do you think hero? Wokes might be a better bet for that? Yeah. Shadeja into Wokes, he comes down the wicket and clips the ball into the onside. He'll get a single, Siraj moves to his right. It's quite deep at mid-on. And they get one more, 257 for nine. It just was cricketing brainlessness. You're looking at a bloke, Chris Wokes here, is it four fours? As I say, he's got a test match 100, averages 27, just arrived at the crease. Just play for your partner, you know? Insane. Jadeja into Anderson, comes forward, defends it to the offside. Too much applause. I guess the question is, well, would they have had the chat? You know, sometimes you have the chat in the middle. Would Wokes have called rank right? You rein in, I take control. Jadeja into completely over, and there is the reverse sweep. And he's missed it. It's been taken by Punt. And the arms were raised briefly, but no alarms in the end for Anderson. End of the over. England 257 for nine. Anderson won. Wokes has 18. I'm sorry, Evan, I interrupted your train of thought. No worries. I was just sort of saying, you know, sometimes in the middle, the experienced batter will come up to the less experienced and tell them what they're doing. Your job, you know, yep. if you see them play a little bit of a wild shot, your job is hunker down, get me the strike. Keep yes. it simple. Whereas I just sense it was it was left open, and Ollie Robinson thought he, he just wanted to kind of, you know, he, well, he had been so, so, he, he yeah. maybe wasn't given the message, and then it, yeah, he was trying to. I mean, I would have wondered. I mean, it, I think you and I and Andy sitting up here could work out what the right thing to do was. Does he need a message? I mean, really, does he need that message? Does he? He's a professional cricketer, and Chris Wokes at the other end. I take your point entirely, but Wokes also a very diffident kind of guy. Isn't it? Does he go down the wicket and point a finger at Ollie Robinson? No, not like even that? point a finger. Just say, "Look, yeah. this is the plan." Yeah. Rain it in, mate. <laughs> maybe he should have done. Yeah, maybe he should have done. I think sometimes you need that. Yeah. Well, it was bafflingly idiotic, but it's done now, <laughs> and uh, Wokes is now on strike. And Takur is into him, interestingly, and that's wide outside. Just a very wide umpire. I think we've sort of thought about it, but in the end did not stretch his arms. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in your team if you were captain and I'd made a mistake. Sounds like you no, would you be <laughs> lacing us with all sorts of punishments and I wouldn't even understand half of the words you use, but <laughs> Well I don't I don't mind poor execution of shot. I mind complete thoughtlessness if I was captain and I'd think, what on earth were you thinking about? I mean what could possibly have been going through his mind? Here is Taka into Wokes, who drives gloriously for four. Ipso facto. Through extra cover. <laughs> 261 for nine. And who knows how many runs England might have been able to add if they had the solid, redoubtable Ollie Robinson at the other end, batting for Chris Wokes. Well, that was a glorious shot. Too much whip from Taka. That's as good as a drive we've seen through the cover region. Excellent footwork, just... Triggered across, got into line, and then the timing was perfection. Virat Kohli not happy, though. Offered a bit mid of a freebie with the whip. Mid on and mid off have gone back, saving two, really. Takur is in now to Wokes, who pulls gloriously through mid-wicket. It's running up to the boundary for four more. Wokes moves to 26, England to 265 for nine. That leads 74 and building. Well, hopefully everybody heard the sound off that bat through the effects microphone. That just gives you an indication of how good it was. It was crisp. It was crisp. It was crisp, wasn't it? Wasn't you know, it? When your timing is perfect. He's very good batter, Chris Wokes. You know, if he's given the opportunity to bat for a while, 
He could really score some yeah. runs. Yeah. I enjoy watching him bat. Yeah. Very organised as a player, very technically sound. Right, slip is in, mid-wicket has come out. So the second, second slip has moved out to mid-wicket, and now the field has spread. The realisation has hit. They're giving Wokes a single here, pretty much. Tucker into Wokes, and Wokes just dabs this down to deep third for a single. That's the fourth ball of the over, only two balls left in the over. Wokes to 27, England 266 for nine. The lead now, 75, but Sir Anderson has got two balls to negotiate. I wonder if he's going to clear his front leg and try and <laughs> smash it as far as possible, or if he's going to try and defend it. I, I think there are people who played at Dulwich Cricket Club right now who... Alanian CC. Is oh, is it Alanian? Yeah. Was that yeah. you? Yeah. Who will be, as they're listening to you right now, having shudders on... <laughs> I can imagine you offering out complete there's, lashing, there's, tongue lashings. There's bad fines at our club, I tell you, for a shot like that. There really are. Well, and it's actually for all the, the shots The problem, though, when you get well. stuck in yeah. is when you make a mistake and ah. everyone's back at you. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Round the wicket comes Tucker, the left-handed Anderson. Fields come in, two slips in a gully, and Anderson goes up on his toes and just dabs this. Gets into line with it and dabs it square of the wicket. Andy. Uh, England's six, seven, eight, nine have all made quarter centuries, Dan. You know how I like a quarter oh, century. Crikey. Yeah. And this is only the fourth time England's six, seven, eight, nine have all passed twenty-five in a Test innings in the last thirty years. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Quite giddy. You are a little. We'll send someone round with a, a towel and a sponge. And if Wokes can get uh, three more runs and make it to thirty, it'll be the fourth time in the last forty-nine years that England's six to nine have all reached thirty. Taku are in to complete the over. Anderson oh, his edges and it just let one oh, Did it edge? It may have come off the shoulder a bit. It bounces in front of Rohit Sharma. Either way, he survives. End of the 79th over. One more until a new ball is available. Chris Wokes has 27. England 266 for nine. The lead 75. Thoughts from Evan Rain for Brent. Then it will be Jonathan Oak. Well, Jimmy Anderson actually had to wear that one in the end of the hip, coming round into him and he tried to pull the bat out the line but kind of kept going with the body and it hit him right. In the sort of uh, yeah, sort of upper hip area, that would have been a bit sore. But I guess I do not know which way this game is going. <laughs> I, I feel now it's just left a little window open. If they can get them out, 80 lead, India will think we cannot collapse again in the fashion they have done. Well, the lead 75, and uh, Jimmy Anderson's got a bit of fending off to do after this over probably because the new ball's going to be available. But I mean, in the context of the game, 75. 80 runs seems to be a lot doesn't mm. it but mm. surely uh, India can't collapse as they did in the in the first innings it just doesn't seem possible and yet of course it's possible and they can be challenged again and uh, they know they underperformed again that'll it, it works two ways isn't it for, for, for a, a batting team when you've been rolled over a few times you either somehow dig very deep and determinedly battle your way out of a bit of a rut or your confidence actually gets hit you're facing the same bowlers again as Mark Rampakash and I were talking about this morning same bowlers you know they've got a bit of a sign over you um, the bowlers are confident Jadeja starts the last over before the second new ball can be taken and the first delivery is driven back at him by Wokes and there's no run so now what's Wokes going to do there's a long on Deepish mid-wicket, a sort of attempting mid-wicket really there, with some gap and space behind him. Jadeja again bowls, which turns that away into the leg side for a single. So that brings Anderson down. And I'm looking around to see who's loosening up. Yeah, Bumra, I think, down here is loosening up by the look of it. And Anderson will see that out of the corner of his eye. I remember batting here against Sylvester Clark once. Not a nice situation to be in. How many did you score? <laughs> well, not very many. The new ball was due in an over's time. How many did you see? None. <laughs> he was trying to actually pull the second new ball out of the umpire's coat pocket, saying, give it to me, give it to me, I want it now. And the umpire's saying, Sylvia, you can't, you can't have it yet. I'm thinking, crikey, it's, it's just horrible. He was trying to take it earlier. Jadeja bowls and uh, beats Anderson's probing bat as he leans forward. It's a Sylvester Clark bar up there in that new stand which is nice and goes Jadeja over the wicket bowls and that's uh, played nicely off the back foot calmly by Anderson and there's uh, 
Three, two to go in the over. Slip, leg slip, and a man there for, for the reverse sweep, actually. A, a rather strange position. He's not there for the orthodox batting at all. Anson forward, blocks the next one. He's there for the reverse sweep, but he likes to play. It actually plays it very well. But I don't know what you'd call that position, really. It's, uh, it's in the offside, anyway. It's a sort of a close point. Jadeja bowls the last ball of the over, and Anderson lets that go by. So... 80 overs are completed. Means that India now do have the second new ball that can be taken. I'm sure they'll take it. And we'll see who's going to take it uh, as well. Apparently the Mark Butcher and Graham Thorpe rooms have been open today in the new stand. You've got a suite in there as well? I've got nothing. I've got nothing. Well, since, since you've been, been given most of you've been given most of London. I've been it? giving begging for a bin or a window or something around the ground. I've been putting it out every year on TMS when we play here. I just hint, said it to the previous chairman and chief ex yeah. and, well previous chief exec Richard Gould who's here today and uh, Richard Thompson. Well, look, there's nothing, nothing. All you've got to do is. I've only been coming through here for like. 20 odd years, 20 all you've got to do years. is lob about 30 million in and you can have a whole stand <laughs> whole stand named after you over there look unfortunately I don't have your bank balance well there you are maybe we, we, maybe we could chip in together <laughs> well that's all you've got to do you get a whole stand named after you yeah alright right the new ball is ready to be taken uh, sweat is being peeled off there I think it's the Adlav in the distance and we've got uh, Wokes on strike Yadav's bowled well, actually. Bowling, uh, and he's going to have first go at this. Wokes is on strike. The field is being set deep, so they're saying, go on, you can take a single if you want and get Jimmy down. It's a ruthless game. And uh, I'm not sure what Anderson feels about this. And the bowlers are tired. It's not a quick pitch. And uh, I think he's just going to get on with it, probably. Wokes on strike. Yadav's on his way, he moves in, bowls to him, and he feels for it, drives into the offside, doesn't take the single. So he is protecting Anderson. 2.67 for nine, England lead by 76. The drummer down there, rather ominous sounding drum down there in the distance. Yadav. Wheels round now. It's a lovely smooth run. Very easy looking seam bowler. Comes in and bowls down the leg side. Poor delivery. Gathered neatly by Punt. And uh, there's no run. Richard Whiteley emails. I enjoyed hearing about the encouragement given to men and women to learn about and play cricket. The googly fund and book just up our street. This was the first year for the walking cricket Harrogate group. Twelve good folk all over the age of 55, six men, six women, the majority of whom had never played the game. But a wonderful summer, learning about cricket, improving knowledge and skill and making wonderful new friendships. We can't wait for the sun to shine on us in 2022. Well, that's nice, Richard. That's exactly what that was all about. 2.67 for nine. And the other bowls, and this is, uh, again, redoubtedly defended by Wokes. Nothing uh, aggressive or hostile there. Simply keeping it out keeping India out in the field a little bit longer there's still uh, well, a lot of cricket left today in terms of overs remaining well 27 again I mean the over rate this game has been very poor and the players will be fined for that and they will lose test championship points which don't seem on the evidence of this series to mean that much at the moment now, both teams have been uh, culpable Yadav from the pavilion end bowls and he's got inside edge there that's more hostile and it's actually driven it straight into his ankle and that'll hurt that will hurt straight into the ball of his ankle there ow you can drive that through extra cover oh dear that has hurt Chris Wokes a real stinger unprotected round there Oof. yeah looking on the replay that is the bony bit oh, yeah the back of the knee the back of the knee yeah, it's going to swell oh. up. One of those ones you know is going to be you know, the size of an egg. Yeah. He's down on one knee at the moment. I mean, he's having a... He, he's chuckling about it. But, oh, that is going to... That's going to be sore. It's, it's the back of his right 
knee, no protection, straight in. And he's hopping about there. The field comes in. As Wokes is now back up on his feet. And they'll try and keep him down at this end now. The drummer beats again. It's a slightly sinister tone, that isn't it? You're a drummer. It's deep, isn't it? It's, uh... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a trouble brewing sort of a drum beat. Yadav's on his way. Bowls to Wokes, who steps away, cracks that through the offside for four. What a good shot. Gives himself a little bit of room, and Yadav picks it up. And he's hit that over the field and down to the boundary. So, the tactic paying off here for Wokes anyway, rather than just blocking <laughs> it. But he, he, he's almost out of his reach, that one. Yeah, deciding to play the shots, he, he really waited because he was trying to clear that front leg, wasn't he? And then in the end, just held mm. himself long enough. But his timing is looking as good as anyone today. Still hurting, that knee. It's flexing it, rubbing it. One ball to go. Can they scamper a single? Or oh, I suspect Jimmy Anderson will be facing the Boomerang music. In comes Yadav, and he bowls, and he steps away, and yes, he does get it away. To third man. Siraj Fields. And that is very well played by Wokes. He goes to 32 not out from about 33 now from 44 balls. The lead to 81. Andy, you're poised with something. Well, just to update uh, something we were talking about a few minutes ago, England's 6, 7, 8, 9 have now all scored 30. That's only the sixth time in England's test history. Their number 6 to 9 have all passed 30 in the test innings and only the fourth time any team has done it against India. So we've seen, yeah, it's been quite a strength of England yeah. over recent years. The, the slightly decayed over the last couple of years, but then a lot of the players who were in, you know, instrumental in that, Moeen, Wokes, Besto, back in the side in England's lower order has come good. All the, there was a night watchman. There's a question for you here. Not in the it's order. Come in, Steve Hannay, Jimmy Anderson has now been not out 99 times in tests. Well spotted, Steve. If he remains not out in this innings, will he be the first batsman in the whole history of the game? to get a century of <laughs> not outs. It's quite something, isn't it? I mean, he'll have to play a lot of cricket. He'll have to be a, a bowler who's played a lot of cricket. So, I mean, it'd be a Murali or a Warn. No, Murali not. Murali is a bit of a swiper and used to get out. So I think <laughs> a few more possibilities. Hang on. 212 for nine. In goes Bumrah and bowls. Very low full toss that Wokes gets away to the leg side. He's got four for that. And the crowd knew it. And the cheer broke out very quickly. As Bumrah there served up a low full toss. And Wokes put it away. Now Bumrah's struggling. He's holding. What's he holding there? His leg? He's, he's, he's people crowding around him, making sure he's OK. But, oh, he's gone down. And I think he looks like he's either got cramp, which is what he'll be hoping he's got, rather than some sort of strain. And he's got a bit of a yeah, assistance there on the field. Yeah, the physio's running out. So we, therefore... I've got an opportunity, Ebony. Walsh. Oh. I know. Didn't he have a lot of not outs? Isn't it me? Yeah? He, well, he did, but um, he's not even close to Anderson, who is way out on his own is on he? 99 not outs in Test. I is mean, he? we're looking at Bradman versus the rest here. Um, in terms of. In terms of, you know, Anderson 99. Yeah. Is Bradman's average. The next best, Courtney Walsh 61. Wow. Which is about, I think, the next best behind Bradman in terms of. And the difference in tests numbers? Uh, total test numbers. Well, well Anderson's between in Anderson and Walsh. 66th. Uh, Walsh, just got his numbers up here. Mm. They were a great West Indian fast bowler. So that's a very good question, Steve. Thank you for that. Uh, he played 132 right. tests. Mm. So Jimmy Anderson is the Don Bradman of being <laughs> not out. It's a good shout on Walsh, though. Yeah, I remember he had a good few not outs. Yeah, yeah. And he used to, I mean, he used to try and bat properly, didn't he? Yeah. Whereas Murali was a bit of a slogger, <laughs> got out. Um, so that probably wasn't a very good shout, actually. Is there anyone else, sorry, so anyone else in that list of interest, or was it pretty much Jimmy, then Walsh, and then no one else that's offering resistance? Uh, next is uh, Matai Muralithra. Yeah. <laughs> Took 16 wickets in a test on this ground in 1998. He did. I think he did a six. Didn't he hit Angus Fraser for six in that game? Or was that my memory playing? Uh, I think he did. No, I mean, he, he did have a good eye, actually. Um, uh, 56 not outs. Bob Willis. Oh, yeah. Uh, 55 not outs. And I think on, on this... Didn't he in 1980 against West Indies? Didn't um, he and Peter Willie have an epic 10th wicket stand? 
to secure a draw. Well, Peter Willey always did brave things against the West Indies, didn't he? So he could, could well have done it. Sure boom, Boomer here is still flat on his back. And the it, it does look like cramp, which is which is good. I mean, it's not a strain or something trying to uh, rule him out of the series or something like that. But he, he clearly is immobilised at the moment, and he's in some discomfort too. The physio there is doing all sorts of horrible contortions, and uh, yeah, so they'll they'll try and get him right. And it looks like they're going to take a drinks break actually. Uh, from 6:30 tonight on Radio 4, you can hear Andy Zaltzman and his other guys. You've got so many guys. This is not for the guys they're talking about. This is a host of the news quiz. I have two guises. No, no, because <laughs> you're also stand-up comic guys. Yeah, I, well, I guess the news quiz is within that guise. Guess. Yeah, but you're out there on stage on news. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving you three guises. Okay, thank you very much. What's the first question? In, in the news quiz? Mm. I don't want to <laughs> giving it away. What's the first answer? People will be able to look up the answer. <laughs> That'll be available to podcasts anyway. So there you are. He's in his many guises. So... Uh, now, he, oh, Boomer's up. Just a quick one on that. If he gets a hundred... Do you not think there should be some sort of plaque for sort of for a hundred not mm. outs? That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Well, you should raise your bat as you walk off, certainly. Yeah. But I wonder if Jimmy knows. I bet he doesn't. I bet he's not really... I bet he's not that sort of player. Do you think it's worthy of an announcement round the ground? I think it is. I think it is, too. A hundred not outs? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as he walks off, you show your bat. This is Jimmy Anderson's hundredth not out in Test cricket. That is definitely worth a round of applause. I think so. Yeah. When I mean, you think if England are listening to this in the dressing room, which I assume they are, so oh, they all call their <laughs> tactics from, isn't it? They <laughs> do. Um, <laughs> you'd just declare, wouldn't you? Moment of history for this big crowd at yeah. the Oval. We just need to know. I, I haven't got the the PA announcer's number, but he, he needs to. Unless Steve, our friend who uh, who was onto this very quickly, can email. Uh, the announcer but I think yeah I think it needs to be done so they are having a drink and Boomer is back up again He's, he looks to be restored and that's the thing with cramp isn't it I mean it, it just gets it, you it bites you and it's horrible the worst is in the middle of the night you know oh, you've, yes. got, you've had a long day in the field and your leg shoots up and then <laughs> yeah yeah yes it's not nice just a further update on England's middle order now we'll part, reach 35 uh, Moen 35, Bairstow 37, Pope that excellent 81, Wokes now 37 from 45 the third time in England's test history there, 6, 7, 8 and 9 have all made 35 I mean it's a day of landmarks Yeah, going to need to just churn out blue plaques at the end of today well there's a landmark if we've had a also we've had a, a press release from the ECB, a spokesman has because there was a, the, that pitch invasion earlier any pitch invasion is completely unacceptable. The ECB and our host venues do not tolerate any such behaviour, which risks the safety of players, officials and the staff. The ECB works closely with all our venues to share information and enhance their security operation. The Met Police have also released a statement. A man has been arrested on suspicion of assault. Following an incident at the Oval Cricket Ground today, he remains in custody at a South London police station. So a couple of uh, press releases there. Boomer is ready and he's striding in and he's going to bowl to Wokes. Had a drinks break there. Boomer's on his way. Bowls and he steps away and hammers out through the offside. <laughs> Tremendous shot. Not a great ball. I think Boomer may be there just sort of feeling his way to make sure that he's actually fit enough to let the ball go. But it was wide. And I think if we were being uncharitable, you'd say it was rather a filthy long hop that Wokes has smeared away through the offside. But he's hit it well again. Oh, he got that bat up high, didn't he? Yeah. That's one of those ones you get fed, but when you look back at the highlights, I think he's going to enjoy that. Yeah. Let the hands go. Crunch. Useful runs being added here now. The lead building for England as the offside retreats. And Bumra strides in once again. Over the wicket he goes. Wokes is waiting at a slower ball this time. It's chopped away to third man but they don't take the run that was the seventh ball that Wokes has faced from Bumrah in this innings he hit five of the first six for four three of them in the 71st over the first over after tea and then the first two balls in this over the lead 89 Wokes very useful 41 is having an excellent comeback match he really bowled beautifully excellent cricketer and now he's sharing a word with Anderson there's three balls to go in the over so the field still predominantly set back there's a single there virtually wherever he wants it, but still a slip. Boomer again over the wicket, bowls another slower ball, and Wokes just, uh, drives it into the offside rather nonchalantly. The ball dribbles away, they don't bother taking a run once again. 280 for nine. 
In come the field. Two balls to go. An animated chatter out there. Pushing the ball hard there. Trying to get a little bit of assistance now. They really are going to try and squeeze this. If Wokes gets a single here, he's either done very well or Boomer's giving him a loose ball down the leg side. In he goes. Bowls short. This skied this of a top edge. Pants after it. That may well go all the way for four. Pants will let it go for four if it won't, and he has done. So it's a bouncer. And Wokes had a go at it, got the top edge went high in the sky. And Pant running down there. Couldn't complete the catch, but it's rather in India's interest here to get to keep Anderson on strike anyway. So there's a ball to go in the over. And uh, well, that's deciding what to do here, some sort of tactic. I think he needs to be too desperate. I mean Anderson can back. 284 for nine. The lead is 93 now. Bumra moves in, bowls another short ball which Wokes tries to steer away and fails to, and it's taken by the keeper. So Anderson will be on strike. The lead's 93, it's 284 for nine. Deep Das Gupta's back, and Simon Mann's coming in. Well, I don't have deep microphones uh, on. Uh, there, just a quick thing while we sort that out. Chris Wokes has hit Jasper Bumra for three fours in and over twice in this innings. The last two overs he's faced from him in Jasper Bumra's 24 test career. Only one other player had ever hit him for three boundaries in and over. That was Quinton de Kock in January 2018. Well, it's Chris Wokes again, isn't it? Against India, 45 of just 50. Another brilliant, brilliant knock from Chris Wokes. Important runs these are. Well, the lead is 93 now, and this last wicket pair, I say pair, I mean Anderson's just watched at the non-striker's end for the most part. These two have put on, is it 29, Andy? Yeah, 29 in 29 balls. Right, here's Anderson on strike, and he just about keeps the ball out of his stumps to go for a quick single into the offside, and they get there. Well, that was almost like tip and run, and it, to some extent, I mean, it felt it took India unawares there, they weren't quite ready for it. Yeah, they should have been. Uh, that area they got Mohamed Siraj, who's been good on the field so far, but yeah, got to be aware. You've got to be aware of, of the situation, the game situation. You know, it's Jimmy Anderson on strike. You want to keep him on strike. Uh, this is inside edge onto the body. To be fair, yeah, I mean, he wasn't really waiting. I mean, it was there for that. It was more like half a run available, but good thinking from uh, Chris Wokes. Anderson was right back in the stumps as well. He had a long way to go to get to the non-striker's end, but Wokes chanced his arm on the run and judged it well. So Anderson gets to the other end. It's 285 for nine. Ramesh bowls to Wokes, who drives a glorious shot, but straight to the man on the deep extra cover boundary. And so they do not run. Extraordinary field placement, this one, isn't it? Got, got the new ball, and he's got one, two... Three, four, five fielders on the boundary. One slip, so six fielders on the boundary. Long off is going in as well. And there's a, a deepish mid on and a, a mid wicket, sort of outside the circle, if you like, in terms of you know, one day cricket. So, yeah. And 285 for nine. Works is 45 not out. And he gets a very full ball, which he digs out into the offside, down towards a deep third. They decide not to run. And we've got this sort of phony war, really, just sort of waiting for the end of the over and to see what happens then. 285 for nine. England have got the lead up to 94. So, you know, we talked earlier about you know, an 80 lead, a 50 lead, and now it's pushing 100, which is, you know, significant on any pitch in any test match, really. Yeah, absolutely. If in England managed to get that 100, and it's the psychological thing yeah, as well, isn't it? Yeah, 100 lead. Needs six more for the 100 lead. Three balls left in the over. Umesh Yadav goes in and bowls to Wokes. Wokes steps away and swipes and misses. Something agricultural about that. But what Wokes is doing here, he's getting back the runs that he conceded to Shard or Taka yesterday evening <laughs> around about this time. <laughs> oh, he's, he's doing a great job again, Chris Wokes. I mean, he's such a dangerous batter as well because he's orthodox. He can be orthodox if he wants to, but he can also play these shots. I mean, such an important cog in the wheel for someone who can come at number eight and bat like this. 
Right, the field is staying back, and this is the fifth ball of the over. The two batters have had a chat mid-pitch, and presumably here, I, I, mean, I presume, Wokes is going to push for one and just say, right, Jimmy, can you survive the last ball of the over? Umesh is saying, can I have the field up? And Cody's saying no. Or he's saying, do you want the field up? So here is Umesh going into bowl to Wokes, and Wokes manages to keep the ball out of his body. It's a good short ball, that, from Umesh. Keeps the ball out of his body and gets a single into the offside. No trouble at all because the field is back. So Cody here is saying, well, I think we can finish this with one ball to Jimmy Anderson. We need to get it right, of course, if you're Umesh Yadav. And England's lead goes to 95. The two players have a chat in mid-pitch again as the field changes over for the left-hander. Everyone comes in, so it's a bit of a delay. Everyone coming in off the boundary. Didn't understand that, though. I mean, why was the field spread out for the, for the fifth delivery of the over? I mean, if, if that's the case, I mean, I've, it's, it's just beyond me. Well, they think they can get him out with one ball. That's, that must be it. And, and I, just looking at the field, I sort of sense what sort of ball's coming as well. It's going to be shortening at the body. There's a, a leg gully, short leg, mid-wicket short. Here is Umesh bowling a short ball, and Anderson keeps it out. And listen to the cheer for that. Played it to short leg. And he's really playing for Wokes here in a way that... I mean, Ollie, Dan mentioned it earlier, Ollie Robinson didn't. It was a huge swipe at Jadeja. It seemed a strange shot, really. But these two have, have made it count, Anderson and, and Wokes, and have pushed the lead up towards 100. It's 286 for nine. And Wokes is four away from a half-century on his return to Test Match Cricket after his four wickets in the first innings. And uh, the field's going out again. And we'll probably be in that sort of phony war situation where we just wait to the end of the over. 95 the lead for England. Just a single and a leg by from that Umesh Yadav over. In each of his previous eight overs, there'd been at least one four. Wow. There is a slip in. Four up inside the circle and the rest back. And here is Bumrah going into ball to Wokes, who gets a slower ball. That was a, an IPL delivery, that one from... Uh, bum run, uh, Wokes went to play at it and then realised that just at the last minute it was a slower ball, missed it, went through to the keeper on the second bounce. he had been straight, he might want to clean him up, but it was wide of off stump. So where is boundary options here, Wokes? I suppose through extra cover, although there's a gap, yeah, there's a gap between mid-off and a sort of deepish extra cover. I'm looking more at mid-wicket. Mid-wicket, over the top of mid-wicket, mm. possibly, for a slog. He, he likes the offside, though, Wokes. Here is Bumra going into Bolton, and he digs one out there, and hits it very cleanly down towards deep third, mm. in front of the pavilion, and it's only... Uh, it's no run again. He could have got a big single there. Actually, he might, yeah. might go back for two, but uh, a bit too close to the fielder for that. So you're talking about his options. I mean, his best options are down the ground, isn't it? He's got mid-off, mid-on. A little behind, maybe maybe five yards behind from an orthodox mid-on, mid-off. Mid-wicket again, five yards behind yeah. what an orthodox mid-wicket would be. Four on the boundary. That's behind square. Well, that sort of region, two on either side. Bumra goes in, bowls two, works short ball. There's a swipe of that and misses. Goodness me, that was one of those that could easily have clonked him on the head there. He wasn't really looking at that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and looking at that field again, going into that T20 mindset, that field would tell you, Obviously, he's not going to pitch anything full to him. It'll be predominantly back of length, like the bouncer. Uh, the last delivery that he bowled was a really good, good bouncer. Well directed, it's quick and fast. Flew through to Pant. Here's Bumra again. This is the fourth ball of the over. 286 for nine. Bumra from the Vauxhall end goes in now to bowl to Wokes. That is a bit fuller, and he's hit this high down the ground, out towards the long on boundary, it's, and it goes for four. And there's his 50. Mm. It wasn't perfectly timed. But long on was up, and he hit it over his head. And there is a half century with Chris Wokes on his return to Test Match Cricket. Really valuable runs. He's taken England to a lead of 99. And he's got there in only 58 balls with 11 fours. And they're standing up all around the oval. They really are appreciating Wokes' return to Test Match Cricket. He's not played a test for a year. <laughs> England have missed him. He's playing so well, so intelligently as well. It's the other thing. Both of these two have played intelligently, used their experience. Yeah, that was a slower delivery. The back of the hand. Two balls left in the over. Bumrah 
moves in and bowls to Roach. That's a short ball. He tries to avoid it. Almost it seems to hit the bat there. Mm. He took his eye off it. It hit the bat and went down to slip. So there's a couple of really sharp short balls in this over from uh, Boomer. Now the field comes up for the final ball of the over. And the two uh, batters have another conference in the middle of the pitch. I think one of the keys here is probably to keep Anderson away from Boomer. I mean, that, you know, so he might be happier to face Umrush yeah. Yadav rather than Bumra. Yeah, obviously he might be looking at this as an opportunity to get a boundary as well. Yeah. Feels right up here. So this is going to be another short ball. So possibility of hoiking one. The fine leg in. Here is Bumra. Last ball, the over. Bowls to Wokes. It is a short ball. They run through for a bye. Is Wokes going to make it to the non-striker's end? No, I don't think he is. I think he's run out. Bumra picks the ball up and hurls the ball at the stumps. It was thrown from the wicketkeeper. And Wokes is run out, and England are all out. All out for 290. They tried to run a bye to the wicketkeeper, and it did not quite work. Good, good from Pant, actually. He got the ball quickly down the pitch to Bumrah, who from close range threw down the stumps. And that stat that Jonathan was talking about, Jimmy Anderson's 100th not out has gone up on the big screen think, and it's being might, roared. I think we might have got it wrong. standing up and applauding. I think we might have got it wrong. Oh, no. Because I was including this innings, so this actually is 99. <laughs> but still, you know, it's not far off. Why, why, why does a third figure make any difference? It's still a wrong not out. So this is not his, not, his 100th not No, this not is out. his 99th. Sorry. <laughs> We've messed up. <laughs> <laughs> so looking at the stat, it included this innings. <laughs> You're going to have to retract the announcement. Oh, call, no. They shouldn't have been listening to us. <laughs> well, you urged them to do so. I didn't. Someone else did. <laughs> um, Chris Wokes, <laughs> half cent. When well, he finished with the 50 from 60 balls, 44 of them in boundaries, uh, 11 fours. This is seventh score of 50 or more in Test cricket, including that one century against India at Lords in 2018. And it's uh, his, the fastest of his uh, test half centuries. He reached 50 off his 58th ball. So the lesson, folks, is never trust test match special. <laughs> We've learned that in the last few minutes. <laughs> it was on the big screen. They were standing up roaring. Poor old Chris Wokes walks off. About to play a glorious hand. He made 50 and he's given England this 99-run lead. Everyone was standing up and cheering Jimmy Anderson for, get, for having his 100th not oh, out you know, people get to enjoy it twice so that, you know, next time he's not out unless it's the end of this match and England have just lost obviously <laughs> yeah, and then they won't quite go down so well, you know, well, we'll many we'll, apologies we'll brush that under the carpet um, but England have a 99 run lead mm. those are going to be crucial 99 runs on the half century Chris Walks that's like uh, very very important runs those and it's interesting India's got the heavy roller on as well seven minutes of the heavy roller could again settle down the pitch further might make it more conducive for batting but yeah I mean just talking to to Michael as well and he mentioned day three would according to him would be the best day to bat so yeah. yes India's got the talent has got the got the names there and, and the numbers and the experience but obviously maybe lacking a little bit of a confidence here but if they can manage to play to their potential this could be a very very interesting test match yes India behind definitely in this test match 99 runs behind but if if India can manage to get to 300 plus and uh, you know England needing 200 to 20 in the fourth innings that could be a very interesting test match definitely uh, we saw England uh fumble and stumble at Lords on the final day very different circumstances mm. cause that psychological shift but we, again we can have a, that sort of shift mm. uh, in this in the second innings if they can I extend uh, the lead you know, past 200 something like that that, that we're only on the, the second day third day pitch you imagine it would be uh, mm. pretty decent to bat on and, and you know we have seen England recover today from 62 for five mm. to make 290 so that just shows mm. the, the surface today I mean yeah not, not that much wrong with the pitch true and someone if, if you look at the way someone like Olipo batted or Moen Ali or Beshto before that I mean some of the shots on the rise you know like stand and deliver kind of shots through the line which just tells you how good the surface is still to bat on and obviously you know, it's been a nice and bright sunny day. Uh, you know, light hasn't been an issue, not too overcast. 
nothing much for the bowlers to be honest uh, but obviously the the new ball that's going to be such an important aspect for the indians just to play and see through that new ball the first 20 25 overs the first spell from maybe all of them and then see where it goes so how much cricket have we got left tonight around about an hour and 10 minutes i think the overs are probably ir irrelevant it's just an hour and 10 minutes cricket how much how many overs england can bowl in that time so you think of somewhere in the region about 15, 15 or 16, 16 overs something like that i'll give you the england card uh, and the bowling figures as well so england 290 all out in 84 overs uh, hamid yeah yesterday uh, caught pant bob burma for naught burns bob burma for five so that was uh, six for two and then Root bowled Yadav for 21. Then this morning, Overton out early, caught by Cody at slip off Umesh Yadav for one. That was 53 for four. And then Milan was really well caught by Rohit at second slip. Fine catch, went very quickly to him and he went diving away to his right. Milan out for 31 on his 34th birthday. Another wicket for Umesh, so that was 62 for five. Then the recovery at Bairstow. And Pope and Bairstow was out after lunch. LBW to Siraj for 37. Moen Ali uh, played well, like Bairstow. Got to 35 and then had a huge wipe at Jadeja and hit one to Rohit at cover. It was a top edge. A stand of 71 between Pope and Moen. A stand of 89 between Bairstow and Pope. So that was 222 for seven. Pope then played on to Shadal Taka for 81, 250 for eight. Robinson had a swipe at Jadeja and was bowled for five. That was 255 for nine, but then that really useful last wicket partnership between Anderson and Wokes that produced 35 runs. And Wokes' last player out, run out for 50 off 60 balls with 11 fours. And they were just trying to run the bye off the last ball. The over. They, they obviously had a conversation. If he's going to bowl short, uh, if I miss it, let's run and see what happens. And probably, I don't know, seven times out of ten, you might get the bye. Yeah. And, yeah. But this time they didn't. And Wokes has run out going to the non-striker's end. So that left Anderson one not out. There were 23 extras and the bowling figures. Umesh Yadav, 19 overs, two maidens, three for 76. Jasper Bumrah, 21 overs, six maidens, two for 67. So he's still one shy of 100 test wickets. Shadul Taka, 15 overs, two maidens, one for 54. Mohammed Siraj, 12 overs, four maidens, one for 42. And Ravi Jadeja, 17 overs, one maiden, two for 36. Very good figures, but he was rather... Um, he was rather gifted a couple of wickets there by some loose shots from Moen and Robinson. Barry and Oldham says, much better for Jimmy to get his 100 not outs at Old Trafford at his own end. Yeah, all hitting the winning runs in the second innings of this game. Yeah. What a moment that would be. Yeah, it would be indeed. We haven't had a retraction yet from the, from the, <laughs> on, the big, operators. on the big screen. I feel very guilty now. Don't worry, Zoltz. Everyone makes mistakes, Zoltz. And you make fewer than most. There are... <laughs> I'll console you with that. And uh, there, anyone who wants to listen to Peak, Andy Zaltzman, uh, Radio 4 News Quiz at 6.30 this evening, when he would be on much, much better form. <laughs> well done, Simon. I mean, you've got a good backhand, I must tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've missed any of today's action, uh, you can watch clips uh, now on the BBC Sport website and app. You can have a look at that run out. You can have a look at some of uh, Wokes' uh, masterful batting. And then today at the test, which uh, uh, Deep features on, today at the test is on uh, BBC Four tonight. So BBC Four tonight at seven o'clock, rather than BBC Two. BBC Four tonight, or you can watch it on the iPlayer at your leisure. And the uh, heavy roller is moving towards the end of its seven minutes. I can see England at the far end. I suppose there are a few bowlers there who might have preferred not to bowl today. You know, they like a full day off, don't they? But yep. then they were only in the field yesterday for 61 overs. But this is a great time to bowl, isn't it? Last that's the other 15, 16 overs, all you have to do <coughs> is bowl four overs. You can come yeah. full tilt and then again come back fresher yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, that's the other side of it. The light's fine. It's been a, a bright day in London for the most part. And some blue skies or watery sunshine now. Uh, part of the ground is in shadow. And it won't be long before play gets underway. And to uh, see the first few overs of the England innings or describe them, it will be... Daniel Norcross after a few more thoughts from you deep thank you Simon yeah I mean this is going to be a very very interesting last hour plus 
because uh, I've been, as far as batting is concerned, this is one of the toughest times to bat because for an hour, you know the bowlers are going to come hard. And you're talking about the quality that England uh, bowling attack has. You've got to be really, really careful. And for India, especially the opening partnership, they've been good so far. They've been able, both Rahul and, and uh, Rohit Sharma, been able to give a decent enough platform more often than not in this series so far. So it will depend a lot on them. Again, to give uh, India a good start because India does need a good start. India would need nothing less than 300 on this surface, batting second, making sure that England has at least 200 to 20 to chase down in the fourth innings. Well, it, it looks a relatively blameless pitch now, mm. but other things come into it, don't they, Deep? I mean, actually mm. just knowing that you've got an hour and eight minutes or so, about 17 overs perhaps, where the bowlers can just go flat out. Yeah. Much as India did yesterday, this time yesterday, India had, mm. whatever it was, around about 20 overs. Absolutely. Or less than that, maybe 15, 16 yesterday as well, yeah. There's only been one test at the Oval in which a team has overturned a uh, first innings lead of over 75 before. That's excluding a game winning or 331 behind to Pakistan or one on yes. by concession after the um, Daryl Hare ball tampering incident in 2006. Mm. The only other match in which the team uh, at the halfway stage has been more than 75 behind and one on this ground in tests. England, 141 behind in 1902, Dan. Oh, we talked about Australia, day, Australia. Um, okay, well, well, Gilbert Jessup famously had a pyrotechnic 70-ball 70, 70 hundred or 70-minute hundred. Yeah, 70-minute. Hurston it? Rhodes ended up getting him in singles for the, a one-wicket victory. Yeah, there's some chew, chewed umbrellas that day, weren't there? I think the chewed umbrellas was 1882, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, right. After that, they legalised the stadium hot dog. At, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, to happen. Right, Jimmy Anderson is going to take the first over from the Vauxhall end, as he did in the first innings. Three slips and a gully. Moeen Ali in the gully. There's a backward point. See, Babid. They've got a mid-off, a mid-on, and a mid-wicket, a long leg. It's a crucial passage of play. Rohit Sharma is on strike. Jimmy Anderson running away from us. First delivery, Rohit lets it go by in that channel, not too far from the off stump, probing around about a fourth, fifth stump line. And uh, what England will desperately want is for Anderson and Robinson to start better than they did yesterday, because the first eight overs or so of India's innings, the pitch looked utterly blameless, didn't it? And Sharma and Kale Rahul got off to a lovely start. Yeah, it looked a little flat yesterday, isn't it? And then things happened in that second hour. Well, England have got a Bennett and just over an hour to play with tonight. Anderson in to Sharma, who plays at this in the channel, misses it, it goes through low. Mm. It almost kept low. There's that sort of little, that, that, that universal sign that batters all make when they sort of bounce up and, and down again. The bottom of their bat that really didn't get up at all. It nearly got an under edge on it, did Sharma there. True and. Uh and Bairstow collected it at ankle high. Yeah, I mean, these natural variations are, are only going to increase, isn't it, as, as the game progresses? You would imagine. Anderson, good light into Sharma, who defends solidly and well into the onside. Picked up at mid-wicket, and there is no run. These are marvellous. This, this is what Test cricket throws up, these extraordinary hours. I think I probably mentioned it yesterday, the, the Gabba, when... Australia were able to come after England with come and Stark, Hazelwood. And mm. uh, England were only 30-odd behind on first innings, but Australia were able to maximise that hour and a quarter or so. And the pitch feels like it's been playing well today. Decent conditions to bat in, but difficult circumstances. Anderson in. That's beautifully played by Sharma, getting up on his toes and pushes into the offside to get his first run. Nassib Hamid moves to his right from point to field. And... What do you do here, Deep, as, a, as an Indian batter? You've got an hour and a bit, so you can sort of get in. You can make a positive contribution, can't you, here? Absolutely, yes. You've still got to be mentally positive about it. If you get an opportunity to score runs, you've got to take that. You, you can't get into that shell. And especially, you expect this generation, batters of this generation, to not to do that. Uh, you know, they're still going to come out and play their shots if it's there and they think they can. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see them 
pulling those shutters down and, and playing for the close of day? Well, I mean, if, if India can be 45 50 mm. without loss at the close, and they basically turned it into a one innings match after two days, that's got to be the positive way that they look at it. The crowd still full here at the Oval. A few empty seats where people are buying drinks, but everyone else is riveted. Anderson in. Scale Rahul, his first ball, pushes into the offside from the crease. It's picked up at extra cover, and there's no run. Now, Chris Wokes is about to enter the building, so to speak, and come onto the field of play. He's uh, taken a little bit longer, perhaps he yeah, had a very quick freshen up, perhaps, after scoring that half century. That wonderful attacking half century, a little bit like Shardor Tucker's. I'm not going to go on about it, but you do wonder if Robinson had stayed with him, what things might not still be batting now. Yeah. Anderson in. It's played by Rahul into the offside again, just from the crease. Not a great deal of movement. Played solidly out of the middle of the bat. And to cover point, there is no run. One without loss at the end of the first over. Sharma with that run. And presumably it will be Ollie Robinson. Yeah, going back to the point that you made about Robinson and if he had hung around for a while and in these conditions especially you know contribution from the low order is always important but they are very important because top order against that new ball the moving around chances are there will be a collapse or there'll be quick wickets but then if you have batting as deep as as england has or someone like ollie robinson coming at number 10 or, or overton coming at number 10 usually i mean the last four or five wickets with the ball being a little soft and old can contribute 100 odd runs and can be a huge difference in difference between winning and losing a test match well it you know it frequently is in four day cricket in england there was a period of like, i think 10 out of 11 seasons the county champions were the side that scored the most number of runs after the loss of their fifth wicket because essentially top orders sort of cancel each other out in many ways a lot of the time if you look at averages you know somebody averages 35 and somebody else averages 38 only six runs difference in a match but your lower order can make all the difference robinson comes in from the pavilion end to sharma and he gets a thick edge on that which goes along the ground to moeen ali in the gully turned it round. there's a bit of movement there and rohit was looking to push it into the onside Got a thick outside edge but be a little careful because as an opener in these conditions you can't look to play square leg because that means you're closing the face of the bat early just look to play straight as much as possible and that's what Ruth has done to be fair so far uh, as an opener as a test opener to place with the full face of the bat just a little wait here what's the umpire waiting for it was a no ball it was a no ball that so the third umpire has been in touch and said that first ball from ollie robinson is not the first ball <laughs> <laughs> and we'll have to be bowled again india two without loss as a result and he gets to start up at once more into rohit sharma and he drives at this gets a thick edge and it squirts off down to the deep third boundary it's being pursued by hasib amid who will not bother diving quite rightly so and the ball goes into the sponge for four, but uh, Rohit Sharma has faced two balls from Robinson. Both of them have come off the outside edge. Yeah, not the most convincing of shots there from Rohit Sharma, even though this time around he tried to play with a fuller face of the bat. That late movement away from Rohit Sharma got that thickish outside edge. Went along the ground though, wasn't in the air, so went along the ground. But found the gap. Yep, the untenanted deep third boundary. You sometimes wonder with the ball moving away and two bowlers who are bowling so well outside off stump. Do you need a mid wicket and a mid on? I like a deep third to stop the four. Robinson in again. Rohit gets this on the pads, clips it away down to long leg, just as I say that. Wokes <laughs> does the fielding, they pick up a single. Now, I've, I've asked that question to a few bowlers that sometimes some bowlers have that mid wicket as an insurance so that they have that confidence of bowling straight and not bowl too outside off stump. At times, you'd see when you have that 7 2 feel, a lot of bowlers a mm, little reluctant to get close or get straighter. So it sort of encourages them to be a more, exactly. to be a more attacking line. Yeah. It's a shame you can't just get into a bowler's head and say, look, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take the mid on out, bring uh, just keep the mid wicket in. I don't know. It's just I always thought as an opening batter, you know, you pick up some cheap runs now yeah. the, on the offside boundary. Robinson in now to Rahul, who plays and misses at a ball just outside his off stump. 
Need to double check that. The bowl is coming towards us. And sometimes Rahul has a habit of just covering off stump. It looks like he's playing and missing. Sometimes he's actually tucking the bat inside the line. But he definitely went after that. Yeah. It's a little shape away. Yeah, Rahul's aware the fact that Ollie Robinson can get the ball to get back into the right-hander as well. So he's, he's aware of that. So he's, he's also playing for the ball that comes back into him. He's had a few LBWs mm. in his career as Robinson with the nip backer. Three slips and a gully weight as he rocks from side to side. Raul plays again and misses it. Back. The slips go up. Bairstow didn't really go up and Robinson didn't believe it. So they will not go upstairs with a crowd. <laughs> crowd are in a febrile mood. So it often is at 5 30 here at the Oval. Just taking a look at that again. That was mighty close. To the outside edge. Phil Tuft on this joint. Let's take Dusk to us taking a break. Afternoon, everyone. Afternoon, Dad. Afternoon, isn't it fun? It's great An afternoon, hour. isn't it? Yeah. Lovely hour. Lovely session as a bowling unit. You can give it everything. And you it's not going to last too long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Robinson is in. That's pushed back up the wicket. And there's no run. Because I always found fielding terribly irksome. I imagine you weren't oh, an enormous fan, were you? No, not, not, not enormous. No. I mean, it was a bit of a Trial. Something you had to do, you know. Yes. But then, of course, you know, that's why I became a bowler, because it's just slightly... Something to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that's all changed now, isn't it? Fielding is such a, a huge part of the game now. You know, you can get wickets with run-outs, great catches and everything, so... Uh, Still quite happy, only to do it for an hour and five minutes. Though. Yes, exactly. And the only two bites of the cherry. Do, do, is, is this a two bites of the cherry thing? Well, in a way, it might be. It's Coming explore. back tomorrow morning. Robinson in, driven, square, beautifully for four. A bit too full. And right hit, uh, Rahul climbed all over that. Gets off the mark with a sumptuous cover drive. 11 without loss, India. After two overs, Rahul four. Rohit Sharma has six. So, well, they'll probably have bowled about 16 overs. Yeah. Still. So the lacquer's gone. Yes. Nice and hard. Yes. Chance to swing in the morning. Beautiful. Cloud cover, perhaps, yeah. in the morning. Yep. yep. It might work nicely for... England's bowlers. I mean, England will be, you know, thinking if they can get themselves one or perhaps two, get a night watchman in hand. In the first innings yesterday, the ball actually, according to the Crickviz yes. tracking data, swung more from overs 31 to 60 than it did from overs 1 to 30. Well, there you go. Yeah, two bites of the old chubby. And it certainly didn't do a great deal in that first half an hour when people were wondering if Root had made a terrible mistake bowling first. Yes. If you recall, it wasn't until Wokes came into the attack. Things changed. Anderson starts a new over. On the Vauxhall end, full on off stump, defended up to mid off, where Moeen Ali is now positioned. Gully is out. So we have a backward point extra and a mid off. Well, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure, for England, because this pitch is, is now you know, pretty decent, so as we saw Wokes flaying it around at all parts. Uh, Moeen Ali played nicely as well, and Ollie Pope, you know, so there are runs in this overall pitch, so it's going to be a disciplined performance and stay in the game with a healthy lead. Uh, you know, if a couple out tonight would be lovely for England, that's for sure. Anderson is in, and Rohit plays from the crease. A slightly shorter ball, which he has to get on top of, and dabs into the offside. Pope tidies up. There's no oh, run. I fancy one of the Indian top seven to get 100. Oh, yeah, I just feel it. I feel it. Well, Coley, this is, it's set Could up be. for someone like yeah. Coley, isn't it, to yeah. break that century drought? On a good pitch when his team really needs it. Someone's going to have to do it, otherwise... otherwise well, they'll be in trouble if they don't. Probably lose, yeah. So, yeah. again, another great test match. Isn't it? Only day two. It's been a superb series, really. Test. Brilliant. Here is Anderson. Sharma edges. Oh, oh, just in front of second slip. Well, let's that go down to the boundary. Before I say let's, Rory Burns, I think, didn't see it. He's... He's, he's actually saying, I, I don't think I saw that. He's almost got out of the way of it. He has. It... Uh, I think he lost it, because I think it might it might have carried. Let's take a look at this. Forward came, Rowett. Softish hands. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's hit him on gosh, the foot. It's hit him on the foot. It has. He completely lost sight of that. Yeah, that's catch. That's he, definitely He catch. didn't move to it at all. Had he moved to it, his hands... Well, it, it hit his foot on the full. So that tells you it was a catchable height. His hands were a foot away from it. Yeah, but it didn't move to the ball. No. Strange. Four runs throw it sharp, and I'm putting that down as a drop, even though it didn't touch his hand. Absolutely, absolutely. It can be tricky at the oval, seeing. 
Anderson into Sharma, who works this off his pads, thinks of a single that's not there, so goes straight to short mid-wicket. What a start that would have been, because oh. Rohit is one of the top boys. You don't want him getting in. And it would have been a rare second innings wicket for Anderson. Now, that's definitely another look at this. Very strong. Oh, actually. Oh, he's turned. Extraordinary. It's, it's actually, Rory Burns turned away as the ball hit the edge. <laughs> as if he thought it was coming at his, at his head, not his foot. I've, I've never seen that I've before. I've never seen, you seen that, that before. <laughs> but it must have stats on that, Andy. Here we come. Stats of <laughs> shying away from a catchable slip catch. Extraordinary. Anderson in, off the back foot, punched into the offside, fielded by a pope and the covers. No run. Honestly, weird. Weird. You take, go and take a look at that. Highlights on the BBC website and app where you'll be able to see highlights of what's been a thrilling day's cricket, but none more curious than that moment. I still wondering what it was that he thought he saw. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, he almost looks as if he's like shying away from something that's been thrown at his head. Yeah, weird. Anderson into Sharma, who pushes forward in watchful defence into the offside. That's the end of the over. The third of the innings, Anderson has lost a fair bit of gruntle as a result of that. Looks and India are 15 without loss. Looks a bit miffed. Well, I'm not surprised. You put in quite a lot of... Yes. yes. You're a slip catcher. I mean, I think it's probably one. more annoying <laughs> to see a catch not even attempted. Well, drop. well, <laughs> in a funny sort of way, but, but obviously, you know, it just didn't, didn't copy it, didn't see yeah. it. And so yeah. it does happen. Might have come out of a hoarding or a chat with it. Is there any people down there with a red jumper? Well, actually, oh, there is, actually. Just <laughs> yes, exactly that right line. Yes, there's, a, some, there's a few red red and orange yeah. jumpers and uh, red advertising hoardings. Red right? advertising hoardings, yeah. yes. Yeah, it could be, because yeah. it was low, wasn't it? It, didn't, sorry, it wasn't one of those sort of like slip catches that sort of bounces and hits the edge. It was always low. Robinson starts a new over. Okay, old Rahul uh, works it into the onside. Johnny Bairstow eagerly pursues. So it's sort of backwards square leg. They get a single today at the test. By the way, it's on BBC Four tonight at seven. Or you can also watch on the iPlayer. So BBC Four, not BBC Two. For mm. lovers of today at the test, BBC Four. Well, it's worth a watch. It's been gripping yeah. again. It has. There's been some brainless cricket and brilliant yeah. cricket. Brilliant cricket. I don't times. mind a bit of brainless cricket. <laughs> well, it gives us something to talk about. <laughs> that that feel clear for your career. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, people, come, come on. on. <laughs> Listen. Robinson in, outside the off stuff, through to the keeper, and there's, there's, that is uncalled for. It's workplace bullying. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm sticking up for you there. But uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's, oh, yeah. it's a nice run out. I do love a good 10th wicket run out. And uh, there's been a couple yeah. of those and a couple of hacks and a couple of drops and all sorts going on. It's uh, yeah. entertaining stuff. Well, actually, there have been quite a few drops in the series. Are you, are you keeping track of We drops? dropped four. We dropped four. In the f England, sorry, we, England, 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 England yes. Did, yes, uh, yes. Dropped four in the first, uh, first day. Yes. yes. Robinson from the pavilion. <laughs> Three slips in. Sharma turned round by that ever so slightly. Pushes into the offside. Fielded by the ubiquitous Pope. He's everywhere at the moment. Uh, the, yeah, the f four drops in the first innings, Root at first slip, that tricky one that swung uh, late to him from uh, yep. Coley's edge from Chris Wokes' batting, Overton at third slip, dropped Pant, short before he's out, Thacker was dropped, tricky one by Bairstow, and then Overton dropped uh, Umesh, the ball that then led to the run out of Bumrah. Yes, that was a drop, but it yes, was also yes. it was a wicket. And five table. dropped behind and, them. And India, of, uh, did India drop any? I'm trying to think. Robinson in, worked into... To mid on where James Anderson is stationed by Rohit. No drops. No drops. Oh. So it's just been England. And England have dropped another one. So England have dropped five so far. And still in a good position. Still, in, still a, in a good position. Yeah. yeah. Just can you could you have imagined? Well, the bowler's about to take 15 wickets to take 10. It's a lot. Which is a bit, wasn't that what um, Ray Illingworth said to his troops when they went to Australia in 1970 71? He said, We have to take 13 wickets and they have to take eight. Except for so the other. Yes. Robinson in, struck on the pad, <laughs> worked it to the onside. As they run, not to put too fine a point on it. Yeah. In that famous series of 70 71, do you know how many LBWs England managed to extract from the Australian umpires? One. Zero. Didn't even get the one. Well, you know. 
<laughs> it's a six test series as well. Yeah. Well, strictly speaking, seven, isn't it? <laughs> because so, one yes. of them was wiped out. Yeah, well, you, you, you're just so just completely taken away a mode of dismissal. Correct, Amondo, yes. Andy. So, yes, you've got to... Um, I wonder if you can take the stumps out as well. <laughs> There is Robinson into Sharma, who drives beautifully through the covers along the ground. It's going to run away across this massive square and just about be hauled back by Asip Hamid. <laughs> but they come back for a third. A lovely shot from Rohit Sharma. Obviously didn't time it quite as well as I'd initially thought. End of the over, 19 without loss, four gone. Rohit has 13. K.L. Rahul has five. More from Phil Tufton, and then it's going to be Jonathan Agdi. Yeah, he's good through there. K.L. Rahul has... Dan said didn't quite get it off the meat. But a decent start from India. Apart from that, as you say, very strange effort from Rory Burns, or non-effort. But uh, if the ball's been up and outside the off stump, they've been positive. They know that they've got to try and chip away at this lead. Trail by 80 now. But they haven't done a bad job. Aggers is not quite ready. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Just plugging in. There you go. There we go. Ah, there'll be a day when we can all use the same equipment again. And we won't yes. be separated by Perspex cages. Yep. For now, though, it's Anderson on his way. Uh, he's bowling to Rohit Sharma, who defends, pushes into the offside. The ball rolls away for Hamid to field. Now, yes. I think the Indians have got to play with a bit more positivity. They've, yep. they've, they've got to do something. They can't just let England bowl at them, which no. they've done so far. It's funny, it's funny, isn't it? I mean, it gets in the mind, doesn't it? I mean, they came out, played beautifully at Trent Bridge, yep. and then all of a sudden it's sort of like, all oh, the swinging ball, the swinging ball, and you get a little bit sort of caught betwixt and between. Same with England when they played against India and won that first yep. Test match, and then all of a sudden it gets in the brain. It does. Oh, we need a, oh are we not playing spin right? Well, you are, just keep doing what you're doing. The message will have been tighten up on the off stump, yes, let exactly. go of everything, but then you just lose it, any initiative at all. Yep. Anderson bowls, Sharma's on the back foot playing a beautifully straight bat. And that's filled by Pope, who will have a spring in his step, disappointed to having been dismissed, but he played really beautifully. Yes, he did, because as you know, John, as a bowler and a swing bowler, you know, English conditions, you don't mind people just, you know, no. those little bits of width where you can be flogged through yeah. the offside, they're just leaving them because they're so sort of tentative. Well, as a bowler, you want to be on top, don't you? Yeah, and that's... And, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's why I've always got to think that people have a go at me sometimes for it, but, you know, about the singles, about being busy as yeah. an opening batsman, because it really gets in the, in the bowler's mind. Anderson and uh, Sharma drives this to... Uh, mid on see, 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 that shot in point there he yep. was so sort of like determined to play with that straight back you know what I mean and another day you know he'd be boom, yeah, yep. <laughs> exactly clipping it through mid wicket yep. it's really hard and well, they are up against balance, the same bowlers all the time yeah it's a, it's a it's hard same balance mind to strike yeah. yes, it, it, it really is yep. but I think it would be in India's interest to just be yep. a little bit more yep. a little bit more positive Anderson runs in with three slips, a nice stroke from Sharma, but he's checked the drive, it's very full. And again, in, in a one-day game, that, he would have imagined him driving that for four through, the, through extra. Well, you're, you're right. Uh, Rohit Sharma, doesn't, he doesn't particularly look like he likes a quick single. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a bit, he's a very I mean, beautiful player, but sort of deals in boundaries, yeah. doesn't he? And the same with Raul a bit. You know, those lovely cover drives yeah. and clips and hooks and pulls. Not a drop and go kind of player Both Wokes is loosening up I think yeah why not Anderson runs away from us bowls Sharma oh, defends there and the ball runs back towards his stump so just for a moment there he was startled wondering if the ball was going to cannon from the edge into his wickets but uh, ran just wide 19 for no wicket it's uh, in his second innings reply which began 99 runs behind yeah, another fluctuating day here oh it'd be brilliant England was six down before you knew it. Struggling at that stage. Yeah. And then the Pope arrived. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, there were five down. There were, there were 62 for five when Malan was out. Mm. On a flat pitch. Or a flattening pitch. Anderson bowls and Sharma plays this late. Overton will pick it up. In the slip cordon, it ends the Anderson over. 19 for no wicket. Sharma on 13. And Rahul on five the light's still pretty good I think the floodlights might come on for the last uh, I don't know 15 minutes or so perhaps it looks that way but it's it's late summer isn't it but there's plenty of blue sky or, or fading blue it's a, a light blue now but only 
a slight trace of cloud and the forecast very good for the rest of the game and into next week as well so a nice weekend for those of you who've uh, got the garden in mind or the barbecue wherever it may be Chris Wokes is on he'll get a big cheer he's having a ter tremendous game he yeah. really is he's coming on from the far end so he's replacing Robinson took four wickets in uh, the first innings he's scored a half century valuable little runs they were weren't they just yep. at the end flay a quick 30 or 40 19 for no wicket so uh, 80 behind is the India situation we've got 45 minutes left of play today and Rahul is on strike again three slips and that's been very much that pattern for both teams throughout the game so far Wokes from the far end that springy run bowls and Rahul mistimes a forcing stroke on the back foot we picked up in the covers and uh, there's no run no one's left they're enjoying what is clearly a very interesting phase in the game now Wokes walks slowly back to his mark again Irene's looking thoughtful down here at fine leg on our end of the ground is Emma still there? No. Oh, she's gone back. No, she's gone back. So there's no need for you to... <laughs> Lie. ...to visit the room anymore. <laughs> in goes Wokes. Moves in, bowls. And that's uh, played on the front foot by Rahul. Straight down the pitch. And there's no run. And what are your plans this evening? You'll be uh, well, returning home? Well, no. Funnily enough, I'm, I'm going to um, Banstead Cricket Club. Banstead Cricket Club? Comedy night. <laughs> What's happening in there? Well, I don't know. No. I, I'm, I'm sure Peter Kay's not turning up. No, it'll be Simon Mann. Well, I, I, I think it might be a bit of an open mic affair. Oh, I mean, well. I won't, I'm not participating. Here's Wokes, and that's turned into the leg side, a single for Rahul. So it could be sort of... Comedy night. That's yes. Right. Yes, it could be sort of Dave the Butcher popping in for So a, you performing? A, no, no, absolutely not. You're just going as well, a... Yes, just going on to it, you know... To enjoy might, it. Might be a bit of a barbecue going on oh, yeah, outside, which would be very nice. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued. Could be a little bit awkward. Can I offer the thought <laughs> that this sounds light on detail, Tuffy? Yes. Well, no, apparently it's sort of, you know, there's a, there's a few of the locals and right. what have you. Your Dorney going? Yes, oh, yeah. It's, mm. it's a couple of mates as well, so we're going to go down there with open eyes. Excellent. And ears. In comes Wokes. Bowls and... It's just pushed away by Roach Sharma into the offside. So. I think that's what it is anyway. Right. I'm meeting them all there anyway. Well, there'll be a stampede there now. They know you're going. Oh, no. Yes, I think. And you must know who the I'm, big I'm draw sure is. A, I'm sure there's a VIP area somewhere. <laughs> it's a comedy <laughs> night. You must, you must know who the comedians are going to be. Well, no I, don't, well, oh. no, I think it might be just sort of... A bit yeah. of local talent. Well, yes, I think so. Yes, I'm interested to see how it goes. And goes Wokes, bowls, and that's pushed away by Rurt Sharma to, uh, to mid on. Oh, we found it. Oh, well, there you go. Who is it? Banfest. Banfest. Comedy night. Yeah. Ha ha, ha ha, it says here. <laughs> oh, it's not a good start. No. Headliner act <laughs> yeah. is Raymond and Mr. Timkins. <laughs> I'm sure they were on BBC One a couple of weeks ago. Oh, were they? they? Oh, I think so. Well, they're, they're circuit veterans. I remember doing gigs with them 20 or 20 really? years ago. Oh, right? Right. Funny lot of props. So you've of, heard of them? Yeah. Okay, oh, good. excellent. Oh, right, so it's not local talent. Here's Wokes. Bowling, and it's tucked away into the leg side by <laughs> Charmer. And there's no runners. 20 for no wicket. You better show us. Well, comedy, beer, gin, <laughs> food, <laughs> wine, and laughs. You're going to have a great night. <laughs> the big <You're> six. <laughs> the <laughs> They're going to have a great night. So a bit more detail on the headliner act, maybe? Have you got anything? Oh, it's just a one-off sort of poster. Oh, there you go. Banfest. Well, could, could be a riot. Yeah. Well, good luck to them too. So, yeah. oh, you'll have a great night. Could be a tough gig. Could be a tough. It might be a tough. <laughs> <laughs> it, be a tough. <laughs> it sounds as if they they're old pros. Yeah. And they know what they're doing. Seen it all before. Yeah. I think they know. They, they know what they've bitten off. Oh, the floodlights <laughs> are coming on. I thought yeah. they felt about right. Mr. Timkins. <laughs> Sort of, how do, how do you describe their act, Andy? Yeah. Sort of, um, well, it's a lot of prop, prop gags, but right. musical 
sort of music jokes. I thought Mr. Tim was looking a bit like a puppet there. <laughs> he's not a puppet, he's yeah. a definite human. There's a very high gag per minute rate. Oh, is there? Yeah. Bit of slapstick. Well, it'd be exhausting. Anderson's on his way, bowls, and that's uh, Rahul being squared up and driving towards mid-off. I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Tim, because I was only joking. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll yeah. let you know. I'll fill you in tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Funny what you say yes to, isn't it? But uh, no, that'll be good. Support the local yeah, well, that's important. cricket club. There is you go. Is it actually in the pavilion? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there'll be a big sort of Jenga there and what have you. A bit yeah. of face painting and a bouncy castle. Well, at least just stay off that. All right, not having you being injured for tomorrow. No. No, not with my fault at the moment. 20 for no <laughs> wicket. Anderson moves in. Bowls to Rahul. Oh, that keeps low. He played that very well and to adjust at the last minute and hurried him. And uh, it wasn't a, an absolute uh, dribbler as such, but it did keep low. To jam the bat down. So the right hand pylon is on. And now we can see the one above the new stand warming up as well. Doesn't take long this time of year, does it? The sun starts to dip. Yeah. Uh, not much of a summer, is it? The cricket's been great, but uh, the, the weather hasn't been, has it? We haven't had much of a stretch of the... We haven't lost field. that much to play, though, no, have we? we have Anderson bowls, and there's an edge, thick edge, for four. And runs away through third man, Hamid loves to go and find that. Another boundary, 24 for no wicket. We've lost quite a few full days to rain. The two in the World Test Championship final, there's one we at did. Lords yep. against New Zealand. That's Trent Bridge. True. Lost the whole fifth day. Oh, well, you're right. So it's been a nightmare. Summer. <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the players have been on the pitch, it's been good. Yes. Yes, that was a long, a long final, wasn't it? Down there, six days. Yes, it was. So it was a good end, though. A good finish. Oh, it was a wonderful game. Yeah. But you're right. I'm, I'm not a fan. Not of a fan six. of six days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially when you're in a bubble. Anderson's had enough of his three slips, he's moving one to a gully now. And he's on his way, Rahul waits for him, he gets an in-swing, that's behind this. It's really by Pope, wearing number 80, fielding at uh, cover. 24 for no wicket, so the 75 behind, and while we're talking about the possibility of India losing wickets this evening, actually, you know, they could chip away at this lead yep. as well, quite happily, they've still got uh, 35 minutes to go. Perfect is they're going to get rid of one of these, send the old night watchman out, knock him over. Mm. That's what they'll be thinking. Yep. Look up there, two for. And goes Anderson, pulls a good book delivery, and Rahul just hides his back there, keeping it inside the line. Keep an extra nip off the pitch. And yourself, John? So I'll be down there at the uh, at the comedy fest. Uh, yes, yeah, quiet one, I think. Yeah. Oh, Saturday night. A view from the boundary tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. it's always a quiet night, Friday night. Get ready for that, get some research done. Yes. Do we know who? You're allowed to let us know who tomorrow? Well, I know who. Yeah, you're not going to tell me, are you? Never do. No. Anderson bowls, pitched up, driven out towards mid-off. And uh, there's no run, 24 for no wicket. I could, I could, I could drop a name, oh, cool, in right. a way, because actually it'll, it'll tantalise people a bit. Lovely. In that there is... One of my absolute favourite comedies is The Thick of It. You're looking blank. Have <laughs> you never <laughs> seen The Thick of It? Oh, tough ones. No. It's brilliant. Is it? The Proper thick of it. political satire. And uh, there is here today a former senior politician I was chatting to, and I said to him, Come on, give us the real deal. I've got, I've got Johnny May. A view from the boundary tomorrow. Yeah. Who's in the thick of it? Oh. How how real is, is it? Come on, you know, nudge, nudge. What's it like? And this particular very senior politician said said at the moment I can tell you it's like a documentary. Yeah. So there you are. But if you haven't seen it, it's lost on you, isn't yeah, it? No, it is a little bit. Yeah. Right. Oh, you've got to. You've got to watch that. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get it on catch up. Right? Oh, tough as you'll love it. Yeah. Twenty four for no wicket, and we've got Wokes coming in bowling, and Sharma leans forward, plays down to mid on. And there's, uh, there's no run. Yes, yeah, so I'll watch it on the iPlayer when I get that. Yes, you will. Yeah. But you won't, because you'll be, you'll be watching 
alternative comedy with Mr. Tim. Oh, yes, but all right, tomorrow then I'll, I'll catch yeah. up. I'll, I'll, I'll well, watch once you've met him, it'll, it'll intrigue you to watch it. There's, there's a lot of it, there's several series. Is Christmas that like the one? What was the other one that was brilliant? Um, well, there's a few. Yes, Minister. Oh, yes. Is it similar to that? Um, I don't think you'll hear necessarily the same language in Yes, Minister. <laughs> okay. In comes Wokes on the far end. Bowls, and that's nudged away uh, into the leg side by Rohit Sharma. And they'll take a couple here. And uh, there are some very recognisable characters in the thick of it. Oh, I think I know what you mean. I mean, I think I've... Alistair Campbell is very clearly in it, as it were. And others. Is it the one with Peter Capaldi? Yes. Yes, that's the one I have come across. It's, sorry, I'm... it's been a long day. It's been a brilliant day. Can't keep your eyes off the cricket and the old... But it's not him. Oh, right. Oh, well, interesting. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Always look forward to those. You for the boundaries. 26 for no wicket. In comes Wokes. Sharma waits for him and flicks that nonchalantly to mid-wicket. Oh, looks flat now. Yep. No infields. And there is no run. But I did like that answer. I said, look, is it anything like the real thing? <laughs> it's like a documentary. <laughs> That's not quite the answer I was expecting, but it was a good yeah. reply. If that's really what it's like. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 26 for no wicket. 73 behind. Works wheels round in the distance. He's got the shadows at his feet now. All the floodlights have sparked up. And he's on his way running towards us. And Sharma stands up, plays that carefully into the offside. Works still picks that up. And apart from the occasional play and miss, which you're yeah, totally yeah. entitled to, yeah. there's not been a lot happen in these opening opening overs, these eight overs that they've been. No, England will be hopefully waking up. They'll be thinking, you know, a bit of cloud cover in the morning might be handy. I think they'll be disappointed. Is it it's going to be nice cracking the flags? Of course, that strange Burns drop. He, he said he didn't see it. No, it? I know. It'd be weird, wouldn't it? Yeah. Then he took his ankle out. There's Wokes bowling, that's a lovely shot. Forcing stroke off the back foot by Sharma. So, feel a bit cover. I always find it a really hard ground to see the ball here, don't you? I do. I don't know what it is, whether it's the, the height of the, the stands, or certainly the brickwork on yep. the outside made it difficult. But yep. Burns there, I mean, he's used to this ground more than anybody. Yeah, I can remember Steve Waugh zipping and past me at squeal, square leg. Didn't even see him. No. All I could do was hear him. Just go. Zzz, I don't know why it should be. Whether it's because it is slightly on top of a, yeah. like a saucer, so the crowd is quite high in the background. It's very hard to pick out a red ball yep. amongst them, and then it goes up into the brickwork of the school and the flats yep. to the left and so on. It comes woke slightly wide of the crease this time. Sharma turns him to mid on, and uh, it ends the over. It's uh, shipping forecast time, isn't it? Commentary continues. Uh, for uh, everyone apart from long wave listeners who will now leave us for the shipping forecast. That time of the day, the shadows lengthening. She is quite nice out on the high seas at the moment. Yeah. Quite pleasant. Yeah. Nice, very calm, I hope. Yes. I wouldn't mind having a go at that one day. Carlos did it brilliantly, didn't he? Oh, actually, reading shipping forecast. Yes. yes he, did. <laughs> he did do it very well. One of my bucket lists. Well, I'm sure we can arrange that for you. Yeah, don't well, you okay, can go next door and go and, go and knock thought. it out. Yeah. <laughs> no problem at all. I feel like, I how many mariners do actually still listen to the ship? Oh, I'm sure they do. I think so. Wow, not half. I would. Yeah, but you might have other more, more modern techniques of finding out what the oh, weather's going to be. I'm sure, but still. It yeah, can get tricky out there. Yep. Yeah. Keep everyone safe. In goes Anderson, and he bowls, and that's played away into the onside by Rahul. And there's no run. The sun's back with us again, but only for half the field. The shadow of our stand is almost reaching the non-striker's stumps now. They're all out there getting my turbo I had last night. Turbot. Is it with a turbot? Turbot. It's a turbot, isn't it? Yes. Anderson bowls, that's forced off the back foot, that's going to be runs. Boy, really flying over the pitches there. He's quite a fast runner, runner, isn't he, Habib? Very quick. Yeah, he's quick, isn't yeah, he? Very, very quick. Don't you remember when the Queen came to Lords? I've met her a couple of times at Lords. Well, we 
discover what her menu was for the day, remember? And that was turbot. Was it? Yes, yeah. I think there might have been a bit of salt marsh lamb. Or both. Yeah, I think there was an alternative. Right. Well, definitely turbot, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's lovely. On the bone, nice mm. and moist. 28 for two. Anderson over the wicket, bowls. Played defensively by Rahul. When this, well, I admit, yes, it's always for the Australian test at Normans, isn't it? When the Queen turns up. Yeah, as she pops in, but um, yeah. she hasn't been for a little while, but I have got, actually, yeah. I've got a nice picture of of her coming on a beautiful summer's day to Lords. And Jim Maxwell is in the in the picture down there in front of the pavilion. Twenty-eight for no wicket. And there's Anderson again. Bowls, and that's turned away into the leg side by Roach Sharma. And they pick up one. Did you go to any of the games in the hundreds or not? <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. I think not sure too many played near Balmoral, but um, no, I don't think she did. She's in for the longer, the longer form of the game, anyway, I'd imagine. Twenty-nine for no wicket. Welcome back to our long wave listeners. A quiet passage of play. Here's the last half hour of uh, this second day. Flags waving down there. Are Indian it's trying to uh, g up their openers. Oh, and he almost plays on there, Sharma. It's a bit of a bottom edge. It bounces over his stumps. And, uh, taken by the wicketkeeper. Tough as all about there, Ebony. But, uh, <laughs> he seems to have a bit of a strange look on his face as he left. Yeah. He's talking about the Queen. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. I got a letter from Buckingham Palace a day or so ago, actually. I was You've hoping got it your was... appointment coming up. Yeah, it's coming. It's soon. When are you having? When are you the being date anointed? Isn't confirmed, but they're just letting us know. Right. Numbers are going to be a little bit less than we hoped because of the situation, but it's happening. Good. Hopefully, you'll come for the after party. <laughs> Certainly, I can come and be your DJ if you like. <laughs> I learnt all sorts of ones yesterday. In goes Anderson over the wicket, bowls, and uh, Sharma there leans forward. Ball rolls away to mid-wicket, and that is the end of the over. So it's half an hour to go on this second day's play. 29 for no wicket, so India is 70 behind. England would love a wicket or two in uh, these closing overs. Simon Mann's going to come in here, and uh, he's starring, I'm sure, that comedy night tonight with Phil Tufnell, and some thoughts from everybody first. Well, this game is really shaping up quite interesting. I'm just thinking tonight, what is the situation? If, if there's another seven overs or so, two runs and over, get closest to getting down to maybe a 50-run deficit tonight, that's possible. Yeah, there's 70 behind at the moment. Yeah, and then, in theory, in the morning, if it's not too overcast, we could knock off 50 quite comfortably if the conditions remain the same. Then it becomes a game on. So... This test has offered us plenty of intrigue, Simon. I genuinely think it could end up bubbling up into a really yeah, good one. Yeah, well, it could well do. Um, not much is happening there for England's bowlers. I mean, no LBW shouts. The old player missed. There was an edge that went through Burns. That was a good opportunity. It was a catch, but Burns didn't lay a hand on it. Here is a delivery. Oh, it's nearly an inside edge onto the stumps. In fact, it's an inside edge that's gone for four off the bat of KL Rahul. Roach beginning a new over, and he found the inside edge, and it's gone away for a very streaky boundary. Takes Rahul to 17, and India to 33 for no wicket. It was an interesting shot. I think he was trying to force off the back foot, but hadn't quite got into position, and then ended up getting very lucky with that thin inside edge. And it could have been a corner tonight. We saw Pope do that today. He dragged on, and he had to drag himself off. 19 short of 100 really set himself for that as well anyway he didn't get away with it Rahul did it's 33 for no wicket India are 66 behind with 25 minutes left the lights are on now Wokes goes in and bowls to Rahul Rahul gets a ball it's very wide swinging away Bairstow dives away to his right and takes it between first and second slip England all out for 290 so much time left in the game three days left and uh, India have got the opportunity to bat tomorrow on a, a pitch that has eased in decent weather as well. That seems to be the forecast. They have struggled in their last three innings, but that, this might be the opportunity for them. Wokes goes in, bowls to 
Rahul, and Rahul plays away quietly towards cover, and there is no run. The crowd's thinned out a little bit, as it often does at this time of the day, but uh, the vast majority of people are, are staying on, and the vast majority also urging England to take a wicket before the close if they can, to well, not get ahead in the game, because they are ahead in the game, but uh, India get levelled, no wickets down, and suddenly the, the balance of the game changes. I haven't seen Overton yet. Here's Wokes going into bowl to Rahul outside the off stump. He lets that go. It's taken by uh, Bairstow. I say we haven't seen Overton. We haven't seen Overton with the ball. He's standing there in the, the slip cordon or fine gully, fourth slip. Saw him very early today <laughs> edging in the second over to first slip where Coley took the catch. Tenth over of the innings with this uh, new ball. And uh, Wokes goes in. And bowls to Rahul. And Rahul lets that one go outside the off stump as well. Through to Bairstow. Oh, they jinx him, but they do look organised. Tight with the technique. Leaving well at the moment. I have a feeling that dressing room will just have a little bit of steel about it. Think about that game in Australia where they, it was at 36 they were bowled out yeah, for and in, came back. In Adelaide, yeah. There are a few players from there that are still feeling that fight. Works bowls, Rahul guides it away towards backward point where it's picked up by Hamid. It's the end of the over, so just four off the over, that streaky one inside edge past leg stump from KL Rahul. And India 33 for no wicket. They've scored reasonably fluently. Over three and over. But batting has generally been easier today. Mm. I know England were rolled out for 290. They were 62 for five. And Mike Watchman out, poor shot really from uh, Overton, as I mentioned. And then Milan nicked one to slip inside the first half an hour. But after that, it's largely been a batting day. It's, it's a day you just kind of want to cash in, right? I think even Pope, as, much, as well as he went, would be thinking that 20 was there, available. The way that Wokes came in and played showed you how good. I think even actually the Kerr the day before, towards the end of the day, yeah. where it eased up. You could just see that it had runs in it. Two slips in the gully in for Anderson, who's continuing. He's bowled five overs so far. This is his sixth. And he bowls a full delivery on the pads of Rohit. And Rohit clips it down to fine leg. And India get another single, 34 for no wicket. This high-class opening partnership, Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul. And there's a few question marks lower down, isn't it? I mean, I don't think there's too many question marks over the top order. Rahul got 100 at Lords. Uh, Rohit perhaps hasn't got the weight of runs we might have expected from him uh, so far in the series. Interesting to see what they do with that middle order as well. Gut feel would be that Jadeja, who went up a little bit, maybe just comes down one more. It's Rahani, Jadeja, Pant. Feels right as a mix what have we got from Rohit so far in this series he made 36 in the first innings oh, yeah, and this sheet's here Thirty-six, twelve not out 83 21 here is Anderson bowling and Rahul is forward going to cover and there's no run 82 21 19 and 59 so a couple of half centuries and quite a few starts actually mm. well the pace he's gone eight we, we've seen him actually be a little bit more yeah I guess reserved than we see him historically yeah well i'm mean, heading the first innings 19 off 105 balls mm. and then 59 off 156 in the second innings Anderson to Rahul, and Rahul plays with a full face of the bat, back to the bowler. Anderson picks up and hurls it towards wicketkeeper Bairstow. In the series so far, Rohit Sharma scored 257 runs. Average is approaching 43. Strike rate, just under 40 runs per 100 balls. And before this uh, English summer, his career test strike rate, I think, was 58 per yeah. 100 balls. So mm. he's been way slower than normal. Yeah, well, he's the one that, I mean, he said it, didn't he? You're never in in England, and he's really worked hard to make an impact in this series. And he, he has looked solid. He's leaned on his back, the non-striker's end. Here's Anderson rushing in to bowl to Rahul. Rahul makes a late decision there 
to leave that one, but it was a good decision. And it goes through to Johnny Bairstow. But there has been a, a feeling of security with India at the, the top of the order, certainly earlier in the series. It's taken a lot to dislodge them and some good bowling to dislodge them. I think if they get that middle order right, well, it could make that impact. Rohani, Jadeja, then Pant. Feels like a combination. Anderson bowls. Forced away by Rahul towards backward point. Picked up by Hamid. And there is no run. It, well, the problems India's have with their batting order is, is the, that 3 4 5. Talk about Kohli's lack of centuries, averaging mid, mid 20s over the last two years. This summer, in nine innings, Pujara and Rahane have only twice each reached 20. So, um, although Pujara had that very mm. fine 91 in, in the last test, the, their broad form has not been uh, good enough on this tour, or indeed for the last two years. But so far, so good for India. 34 for no wicket. Anderson. Bowls to Rahul, who guides it away down into the slip court deliberately, looking for that deep third boundary, but he couldn't beat Moen Ali, who went away to his left. And there is no run, so we've got 19 minutes of cricket left uh, this evening. He says to bowl 10 overs, we won't get all those in, we'll lose some overs from the game, but the game is advanced enough. I mean, one, one draw possibility in this game, seems a huge long shot at the moment, is if India really do bat long in their second innings really you know long mm, mm. 500 say 450 500 then England find themselves they can't win on the last day or do you think they'd um, make um, an aggressive um, declaration that I, I just can't imagine them a bit like we saw on that final day at Lord, you know they're, they're, they're that sort of team mm. that I think would always dangle a bit of a carrot yeah, I mean, I'm not sure they dangled a carrot on the last day. Well, Lords, not really, really, but you know what I mean. But they yeah. were they were they, up they, for the final day fight. Yeah. Whereas you take England back against New Zealand at Lords, and there was that final day where I think we were all getting frustrated, thinking. Yeah, England didn't bother, did they? Just like, yeah. come on. Mind you, when you saw them play at Lords in the Test against India, you can understand why they didn't bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very true, very true. Here's Wokes beginning a new over to Rohit Sharma. Goes in now and bowls. Rohit gets the ball outside the off stump. He offers the pad and allows it to go through to Bears too. Anyway, it's only a long shot with the draw, mm. but if the pitch really does flatten out and India... Just runs, runs, runs. Just runs, runs, runs. And then you find that, you know, I say a declaration in the final session on the fourth day and then England, because they need, I don't know, 400 yeah, to win. Yeah, it's just too much. Just too much. And they, have to, they have to bat out the last day or try to bat out the last day. That's the only... The only, only way o Only happen. draw scenario I can see. Well, it's flat enough. Because the forecast is good. Yeah. Yeah. But the most likelihood is that one of these two is going to go to Old Trafford 2 1 up. Here is Wokes bowling to Rohit, who plays that one and misses it. Through to Bairstow. We haven't seen too many of that sort of incidents in this innings, the second innings for India. But Wokes there coming, came out beautifully, didn't it? Landed mm. on the seam and went away from uh, Rohit. Yeah, had quite a wide grip on it, but then really bowled it into the surface. You can see the seam. A vertical all the way down into the surface and a bit of cut and it hit the pitch. Wokes wide of the crease, bowls to Rohit. Rohit judges that one nicely, lets it go through to Bairstow. Wokes has been the player of the game mm -hmm. so far for England with his four wickets in the first innings and 50 today. It feels like, if anything, on balance, England are the better bowling team. I felt all four seamers looked a threat consistently at some point whereas India only really looked like they had two threats today Umesh and Bumrah Bumrah which as this plays out Wokes in again bowls wide of the off stump nothing from Rohit taken by Bairstow you feel if it stays flat if anyone's going to still be able to take the 10 wickets at a reasonable rate it's more likely to be England because it just looked like India's bowling attack was missing yeah enough depth to it today and maybe they'll who knows you know they're all but if you have some runs in the bank you know if you have something to play with yeah 250 300 on the board then pressure pressure yeah that mm. last innings mm. Jadeja might come into it as well I mean we did see one turn today he's got some rough to play with although not many left-handers in this England lineup here is Wokes outside the off stump Rohit lets that one go as well and taken by Best, don't want to England got well. I suppose they've got Burns, Burns and Milan at the top, haven't they? And then Moeen, yeah, and then lots of right handers in the middle. And Moeen, so yeah, four, four of the seven, four of the eleven. 
Yeah. Seven right-handers. So a bit to work with. Yeah, yeah. With that rough outside the left hand is off stop. It was one that popped, wasn't it? It really fizzed out the, off the surface. Works tries again. Into bowl to Rohit Sharma on the pads this time. Turned into the onside to the right of Moen at mid-wicket. And they jog through for a single. That's the end of the over for Wokes. So four overs for eight from him. Tidy, but uh, generally unthreatening. Not that consistent threat we saw, of course, on the first day when there was a bit of a zip in this pitch. 35 for no wicket India. 64 runs behind him. I've just uh, switched on. England all out for 290. Pope 81. Uh, Wokes 50 at the end. Moen 35, Besto 37. Three for Yadav, two for Bumrah, one for Shadow Tucker and Siraj, and two for Ravi Jadeja. And it is going to be Robinson who's going to bowl. So not, probably not Overton tonight, unless he bowls from the far end, I suppose, for an, an over or two. But Robinson back, he's he opened the bowling from the pavilion end, now he's going to bowl at the Vauxhall end. On the Indian openers, they're averaging 53 per partnership this series. Most of that comes from uh, two outstanding opening stands. The first innings of the first two tests, 97 in Nottingham and 126 at Lords. But they've managed to negotiate the first nine overs in all but one innings. And to put that in context, recent visiting opening pairs in the previous 10 series in England, including the one-off test with Ireland, that no opening, uh, no team's openers collectively had averaged over 30 in a series and the overall average opening stand in those 10 series was just 16 so although they haven't sort of dominated they have been much more effective than yeah. other decent so secure a, they've given off a sense of security at the top i think is the way to put it right England tried to get the ball changed umpires have put it through the hoop and it, it's come out the other side so on we go with this one uh, robinson bowls and rohit has all the time in the world there seemingly to get onto the front foot and defend that into the offside and there is no run that was 77 miles an hour I didn't wonder he had all the time, <laughs> time in the world to get him behind it yeah it's that sort of first ball late in the day mm. hopefully picks up a couple of miles per hour gets to that sort of early 80s 81 82 Robinson only bowled two overs uh, with the new ball at the far end You've got to get the body through the action so he got two slips in the gully Robinson into bowl to Rohit and Rohit defends to cover this time. Let's look at the speed on that one. That was well, that was even slower. 76 miles an hour uh, from Robinson. Not all about pace, of course. He's got that height which has troubled the Indian batsman in this series. He's walking very slowly back. It's not as if it's been a long day <laughs> for him. He came out, had a couple of swipes. He had a, he had a bit of fun with the bat, didn't he? Well, Tried to not for very long. clear the front leg, didn't he? Swipe at Jadeja and was bold. Robinson goes in, bold to Rohit Sharma. He plays that one-handed down towards fine leg. Elegant flick stroke. Moen sends in the return to uh, Bairstow. One more, 36 for no wicket. And Rohit moves ahead of KL Rahul. He's on... 18. I can see some uh, India flags being waved in the crowd away to our right hand side. A, a, a knot of India supporters who are urging these two openers on. Get to the close and reassess and come back tomorrow and try to take advantage of a, a decent batting pitch now. Robinson bowls to Rahul and Rahul forces that away for four. Down towards the backward point boundary off the back foot. We found the gap between a gully and backward point. And it flew down towards the uh, MAR Galadari stand. The new one at the Sobel ground, a three-tiered stand to the left of the pavilion as we look. Fine stroke. It's such a positive shot. To be honest, it wasn't that wide. You just create a little bit of width towards the back end of the shot with a good bit of footwork and a good bit of timing. And that raced away. He looks, he looks like he's seeing and hitting it well at the moment. Robinson's gone for 19 in 2.4 overs. 40 for no wicket. Robinson into bowl to Rahul, and that's better. Good line just outside the off stump, forcing Rahul to play. And it went past the outside edge. And that was up to 82 miles an hour from uh, Robinson. So, yeah. Rahul committed and they, then he withdrew the bat at the last moment. 
Not long to go until the close. Just need to hang on in there, these two openers. Robinson turns in shadow. Sets off again. Past the stumps now and bowls. And Rahul clips that away to mid wicket. There's no run. It's the end of the over. 40 for no wicket. So 10 minutes to go. And uh, Dan Norcross, Daniel Norcross, indeed, will take you there with Ebb's Rainford Brown. <laughs> I was, wasn't sure if you'd forgotten my name there or not. Talk about forget my name. Did I ever tell you the story of Tuffers on Question of Sport? They showed a picture. Like, so you know when they do the question where they put up a picture of an athlete and say, say their name. And considering I've sat in this box for six, seven years with this guy, and he went, oh, 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 her. Uh, uh, and he got there and he finally said, Ebbs. And they're like, well, that's not her real name. So can you believe it? Tuffers got me wrong on Question of Sport. Do you know, oddly, I can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simon didn't forget my name. He was... He was looking for a short version. How are you doing, Dan? Well, the ten, ten minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. All right, start of a new over. It's Chris Wokes. The Bromley Botham is in and full on leg stump pushed into the onside. There's no run. This game is increasingly feeling like a one innings contest with India potentially having the better of the conditions now. England, I feel, Ooh. in some ways may have thrown away a crucial advantage today. So I think there were some key moments Moeen Ali's dismissal, mm -hmm. Ollie Pope's dismissal, having got in, and Ollie Robinson's dismissal, all of which... <laughs> if you rank them, I know where you felt about the Ollie Robinson. I was yes. there with you. Yes, I know. I've got to let, I've got to let it go. <laughs> Wokes is in. Sharma defends at the offside. There's no run. It's not actually anything to do with partisanship. It's just watching watching a, a, a moment of brainless cricket does get to me, whoever whoever does it from whatever country. Well, but I, either way, I, I'd say England have left the best part of 50 to 75 runs out there. But do you not think the biggest factor in all of this was the wicket last night of Root? Definitely. That's the number, because I think it, it left the game open. India always yes. felt after that you can just chip away. And it was a ripper of a ball, to be fair. It was a, it was a mm. super delivery that just flicked top of the bales made the sort of the bales shear off this is driven by Rohit Sharma to mid off there was a there's a glorious bit of bowling but it also exposed just how much as if we didn't already know England from looking reliant. at the stats what yeah how much they mm. need a big innings from root but you know in fairness to India there were times today I thought when India looked really flat in the field when Cody didn't have a lot of ideas mm. And just at the moment when England were asserting themselves, a wicket would fall, often gifted. Wokes comes in again from the pavilion end, left alone by Rohit. Through to the keeper, no running. And have dropped, I say dropped a catch, they missed a catch through Rory Burns today, not seeing the ball at all. And I've just been informed there's a new series of Quest of Sport on BBC One tonight. 7.35, by the way. No toughers. There's more of him there for to go round on BBC Cricket. Mm -hmm. So, rest of sports, loss is our game. Andy Zaltzman. That gives you 35 minutes off after the end of the first series, first episode of the new series, the news quiz at 6.30. <laughs> no, it doesn't, as this ball's outside the off stump, played out and missed, there's no run, because you've got to fit in today at the test on BBC Four. Andy, get with the programme, literally. <laughs> you've just got, you've got, basically, you've got uh, Test Band Special continuing fire. The news quiz, then via today at the test, and then the ghostly shade of Tuffers, not on Best of Sport <laughs> at 7.35. There's a lot of viewing delectation. I, on the other hand, as Wokes is in, through to the keeper, diving, take by Best. Now, end of the over, 40 without loss. And Rohit has 18, Rahul has 21. I'm very much looking forward to watching um, the first episode of the final series of Wentworth, the women prison drama from Australia. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Is it good? Good. Is it drama? Is it drama? scandal? You start from the beginning, Ebbs, and you will have a treat in store. Do you know... What? Is it... <laughs> <laughs> is it like... Prison Cell Block H? Well, it is a, it is a reimagining of Prison Cell Block H for the modern day. It's, it's Australian. It's Australian, yeah. There's a lot of... Is it in Fremantle? A lot of people called Raylene and Jaylene. <laughs> is it in Fremantle Jaylene? Prison? 
It's a fr Fremantle prison. It's, <laughs> it's Wentworth Detention Centre, oh, is what right. it is. <laughs> it is a thing of absolute wonder and beauty. But it, uh, the, the last couple of series have been played back to back. I'm very excited. Robinson starts a new over. Ducked off the hip nicely by KL Rahul. Down to long leg. England haven't threatened to take a wicket for a while. Now, beaten the bat a couple of times, yes. But with six minutes to go, they'll get this over and one more in. They would love a wicket just to lift their spirits. They're still ahead, of course. India are 58 runs behind. But they just might feel there was a little bit, they just let a little bit of a chance go here. Ever since Shardal Tucker had that counter-attacking rapid 50. They keep on trying to get the ball. The ball. Yeah. That always I always think that not worries you a little bit, but you know when the bowling team have already gone, yeah, this is like not happening, ball. you think we've well, got another 70, or 70 <laughs> hours overs, mate. Robinson is in, that's tucked away again, nicely down to long leg. The ball is shaping a little bit away, but there's not anything like the same zip from Robinson, only 79 miles an hour. And England have only had, that's the other thing, they've had a, a, a day off, but they haven't had two nights, the ball haven't had two nights with their, with their feet up. But you would have thought this hour and five minutes would have been a great opportunity to have a bit of intensity, but it doesn't quite materialise that way today. Very good batting from the Indian opening pair again. Sandy Zaltzman's pointed out. Robinson in to roll. He pushes into the offside and there's no run. We have an email from Darren Leach. Cheeky request, he says. My wife, Sarah, and 18-year-old son, Stanley Leach, that is, are driving back from a holiday in Cornwall. Traffic is terrible and they are still four plus hours from home after setting off this morning. TMS has been fabulous company, apparently. So thank you. <laughs> apparently. Holiday, shorter day, so Stanley can play cricket for his beloved Saffron Walden Cricket Club. As Robinson turns and comes in, forward comes a marvellous Rahul forward defensive, as good as any you'd see from Hasib Amid. Andy Zaltzman's loving it. There is no run. They're up at Swordston in Norfolk tomorrow, so more miles in the morning too. Any chance of, chance of a shout-out? Well, there you go. Darren, Sarah and Stanley stuck driving back from Cornwall. Andy Zaltzman knows very much what that's like without having done it himself, as uh, his family also had a very long drive from Cornwall without him. <laughs> <laughs> So a shout out to Andy Zaltzman's family and the leeches for enduring that while Andy was pouring over Excel spreadsheets. Robinson in, full, forward comes Rahul, plays back to the bowler, he collects and is followed through, there's no run. Saffron Walden's Essex, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Presumably called because of saffron, they must have, did they, did they, um, manu well, manufacture, what do you do with saffron? Saffron comes from, uh, Plants? It comes from, you know, it comes, is it tulips? Because wasn't the, wasn't the whole tulip thing all about saffron? saffron. saffron. Sure, no. Is it tulips? It's, it's, a, it's a little flower and you get a tiny amount of saffron from in each the, flower. In from the, the little, little bit in the middle, the bulb stuff in the, in the middle. middle. Yeah, that's right. Very scientific, aren't we? Robertson in to complete the over. That jags back. Hits roll on the pad. Too high. The crowd, though, still in good enough voice to implore the umpires for a positive decision. They will not get it. And that completes the penultimate over of the day. India, 42 without loss, 57 runs behind. They just have to negotiate one more over. There'll be no night watchman now. Because the wicket falls, off they will toddle. The wickets have fallen at the end of sessions. Craig Overton is going to be the man to bowl this over. It just feels, it feels a little bit, from an English fan perspective, after the lead, you know, it felt like it completely swung back into their favour, runs ahead. Now... If they get in tonight, the ball's already looking a little bit dubious and the umpires are yes. saying it's fine. I don't know, it just changes the whole tone, doesn't it? Tomorrow morning becomes fascinating. Well, it does. We've seen it nip around a bit early on, haven't we, here at the Oval? It's, it's that time of year, it's September. A little bit of moisture gathering overnight. As the shadows lengthen across the field. Overton runs in, start the last over of the day, and Rohit just tucks this off his hip, but straight to Wokes at short mid wicket. There's no run. Melissa and Jake say hello from the M3. We're on our way for our first camping trip to the New Forest. Mm. Look out for those horses, by the way. Yeah, it's nice down there. And we're hoping for some good old fashioned cricket coverage over the weekend to listen to. Well, we'll see what we can do, but honestly, those little horses things, they, they poke their noses through the window of your yeah. car. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm very much an urban man. I don't care for those little <laughs> things. 
Overton is in, and uh, Rohit defends with just an absolute maximum of ease at the back foot. Crocus. Crocus, that's it. Not Tulip. Crocus. Sorry. They're um, tiny little things, Crokey. <laughs> And you get how many? How many croaky does it take to make a gram of saffron? Oh it's my something days! Mad. Honestly, it's absolutely it, crazy. This stuff. It's one minute to the end of play, <laughs> and you're asking how many croakies to make a gram of saffron. saffron. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Yeah. Over to the Z, and that's left alone by Rohit passing by his shoulders arms. I don't do crocus statistics, Dan. <laughs> I can tell you that in the first 86 and a half overs of this game. We saw 15 wickets fall for 253 runs. Since then, in 74 and a half more overs, 270 runs and just five wickets. Well, that tells you something. The pitch has noticeably eased. The ball is not nipping as much. So, it's a much more even contest now. As Overton is in to row it. He tucks us off his hip again. He's going to pick up a single for it. As Wokes moves to his right to field. I see now that our producer has given me lots of things to read out, so I don't fixate on yeah, Crokey. Yeah. The news quiz is on now on Radio 4 with Andy Zaltzman. He can be in two places at once. He's like Hermione in the Harry Potter movies. I like to multitask. <laughs> but you can also catch up on BBC Sound, so you don't have to miss any TMS. Quite well, see, right to. Seeing as it's on, can you now tell us the first question? Yeah, let's see if we can answer it. <laughs> Come on, if it's live, I think it's OK. You can drop the first question. What is it? It was related to a sadly recently deceased animal. Oh, right. Geronimo. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to go there. <laughs> Overton, three slips and a gully. In, penultimate ball of the day. Rahul easily defends into the gully region. Pope, who's been moved into gully, does the fielding. And here we go. One ball left in what has been another absorbing day of test cricket and what has been an absorbing series. Test cricket between two sides pretty evenly matched you have to say it's swung this way and that England probably on top for much of today but India have more than clawed their way back they trail if that's the right word by just 56 runs as we head towards the exits the crowd has thinned out hugely people trying to steal a march get to those tube stations but they're now imploring Overton for one last effort. Last ball of the day. And Rahul just works it off his hip. So mid-wicket. Easy as you like. That is the end of another great day's test cricket. India closes on 43 without loss. Rohit Sharma has 20. K.L. Rahul has 22. India are 56 runs behind England who were bowled out earlier today for 290. Oli Pope top scoring with a splendid... 81 wickets spread around by the Indians. 280 runs have been scored today from 83 overs. Seven wickets have gone down. Ebony rain for Brent. What a contrast to yesterday where wickets are falling left, right, and centre. Now we feel this is an oval pitch that is easing. And someone, someone's going to get 100 on this pitch, aren't they? And that could be the key to deciding which side one side surely is going to win this game with three days to go this which match, side prevails this match is massively too close to call at the moment it's swung one way then the other uh, I think the key moment last night was Joe Root and I think the key moment tonight is India going in 43 for none which says that they've weathered that storm the ball looks pretty gentle in the sense that there's not a, a huge amount happening and if it is a solid day tomorrow, you're right. At some stage, you feel like India have got to... Someone's got to cash in. Someone's got to go big. Um, and therefore, that turns it into a, a really nicely poised test match. Well done, I think it's worth saying. Well done to Pope and Wokes, who, you know, back in to the tests after a little while, I thought their performances with the bat and for Wokes, bat and ball have been outstanding. So lots of action to come.